the new side judge who has dished the final for the day, and Jerry Hendrickson is the referee. Artificial turf here, you can see it's a stiff wind blowing, and the wind will be a factor. It's from the south, 15 to 20 miles per hour. A beautiful fall day in Iowa City with a temperature at 72 degrees. Iowa has won the toss. They have elected to receive Ohio State, defending the goal to your right as you look. They will be kicking south to north with the wind at their back, and it'll be Rich Spangler to kick it off. Deep Park Granger and Harmon to receive the kickoff. Here comes Spangler. And it's over to Granger's side of the field. He lets it go across the end line. Touchback, first and ten at the 20-yard line for the Hawkeyes. Chuck Long getting information there from Hayden Fry, and here they come. Long is the quarterback. Gill and Granger are the running backs. Harmon and Moritz are the wide receivers. The big tight end is Mike Hufford. He's a good one. And that offensive line. John Alt, big pro prospect. Chuck Long has completed 62% of his passes this year. 29 of 47, three touchdowns, and no interception. He is from Wheaton, Illinois, that turned out a high school player once named Red Green. Rather draw play on the first play from scrimmage, and it's to Eddie Phillips. Eddie Phillips in there to tail back in place of the one-gill. They alternate. Steve Hill came up to make the tackle. And here is the Ohio State down line. That's Vincent Elms is that big nose guard. And the four linebackers. Tatum is the big man there. And the deep men. Second down and six yards to go at the 29-yard line. Second down and one yard to go, beg your pardon. So they simply try to wedge him out and picked it up. Spencer Nelms is in there to make the tackle. Back long. First down and 10 yards to go at the 31-yard line. There are Long's numbers for this season. He's a junior. Moritz is wide to the left side. Ronnie Harmon wide to the right side. By the draw play again. Eddie Phillips there to get on the drive. And he moves it up there near the 39-yard line before Steve Hill made the tackle. Lindsay, key matchup today is going to be 53, Joel Hilgenberg for Iowa against number 54, Spencer Nelms. On that play was a draw play. Hilgenberg did an excellent job. He's going to have a long, hard day ahead of him. He's going to have to hang in there and do a good job against Nelms. They have run two draws so far, and both effectively at his second down and two yards to go at the 39-yard line. The Hawkeyes of the University of Iowa. Open with a victory over Iowa State. Followed with a victory last week over Penn State. Have scored 93 points in their first two games. Fumble, Phillips was the man who fumbled it and dribbled it. Back there at the 35-yard line. Iowa retains possession. Man on the ball was Chuck Long. Chuck Long, the quarterback, is the man who got on the ball. Got the tight end standing up now. He's trying to make a down block on Curtis, the linebacker. There's just a bad exchange between the quarterback and the running back. There's Curtis. Looks like he had the ball. He did for a moment, but then he loses it. It was a loss of four on the play to make it third and six now, so it's a crucial down third and six, the first of the ball game. The IBC was left and right, running back split. Now a single back as they move up a Phillips to a wing left. Long pumps the screen, fakes the screen. Now in the middle to Harmon, and Harmon gets first down and he's going to score all across the 45. It is Harmon to the 46-yard line before Orlando Lowry came in to make the tackle. Ronnie Harmon. This is a middle screen to Harmon. He starts out wide to the right, to the left on your screen. He'll come and settle down right in here behind the center. The, the defensive halfback lets him go. There's Long. He spots him, dumps it off to Harmon, gets a good block, and right up the middle. Unusual play, unusual formation to run a middle screen from. And another first down for the Hawkeyes of the University of Iowa. Chuck Long, still quarterbacking. on the play makes it second down at five Orlando Lowry from Shaker Heights Ohio again came in to make the tackle this has been a one-sided series between these two teams Earl Bruce in his fifth year 
as head coach at Ohio State. He succeeded Woody Hayes. That coach at the University, or rather at Iowa State. Look at this, Nebraska 14, UCLA 10 in the first quarter. UCLA had scored first in that ball game. Second down and five yards to go. Eddie Phillips again. Going back that time, gained at most a foot or two, call it a yard to the 48, which isn't quite that much. It's going to be third down and four yards to go, and Clark Backus from Maitland, Florida made the tackle. Eddie Phillips, the tailback from Chicago, Illinois. Penn State, 23, Penn 3 in the fourth quarter. The Nittany Lions still looking for their first victory of the year. Aiden Fry played his college football at Baylor, where he was a quarterback under Coach Bob Woodruff. Third and four. Long waiting. Chuck Long. And it's complete inside the 30-yard line. Mike Hufford. Mike Hufford, number 86, first down and 10 yards to go at the 25. Ohio State's in a, in a two-deep zone now. They're playing half the field, which means the inside and inside deep is wide open. A great pass by Long. Gets it over the linebackers, right into Hufford. Runs a good route, good concentration. Splits the zone, gets a big first down. And they picked up 24 yards on the play. First down at 10 yards to go for the Hawkeyes at the Ohio State 25. Draw play again to Phillips. No gain on the play. Second down at 10 yards to go at the 25. Spencer Nelms, the nose guard from Decatur, Georgia, made the tackle. Lindsay, what they want to do, what Ohio want, or Iowa wants to do is they want to let Ohio State know that they're not afraid to pass the ball on first down. They'll come out throwing the ball. Ohio State, their defensive coaches know this, so they're trying to honor that pass number one because Iowa will throw from any time and any place. That's why the draws become so effective for them. Ronnie Harmon came over towards the sideline to get the next play, and Hayden Fry went out there about five yards onto the field to give it to him, and he went right back into the huddle and called it. This second and ten at the 25-yard line. By the reverse play, and it's Harmon himself. He's at the 20 and the 15 and the 10, and it goes out of bounds at the 8-yard line. First and goal at the 8. Great move. Harmon's coming back inside. There he comes from you right to your left. He's going to put a great move on here on number 12, Garcia Lane, right there. Hops outside, picks up a few additional yards. We had John Ralph and Joe Lavellis leading the way. Now they come out to Dave March to the left side. Rohammer is to the right side, running back to the eye formation. The Hawkeyes are threatening early. Phillips again. Eddie Phillips to the five yard line, second down and goal at the five. Kurt Curtis was on the tackle. He's from Potomac, Maryland. Jonathan Hayes coming back in. Michigan out ahead of Wisconsin now, linking it out to 22-7 in the second quarter. The Hawkeyes are outside the five, as you see just there, and this is the second down play coming. Rangers in the left set. Phillips is in the right set. They're in a wishbone here. Now motion to the outside left. Rolling is long. Keeps it and is pulled out of bounds. Back at the 11-yard line, where it'll be third and goal at the 11. It was Orlando Lowry from Shaker Heights, Ohio. So another key play coming now for Hayden Prize Hawkeyes. Illinois 20 and Michigan State 10. Iowa plays Illinois next week. Michigan State defeated Notre Dame last week. Chuck Long was looking for Eddie Phillips on that last play. He had Phillips open for a moment, but he didn't have time to set up and get the ball to him. Just for an instant, he had him. Phillips is the tailback on this third down play. Long. Long still got it. Pulled down near the eight-yard line. It's going to be fourth down. Clark Backus is the man who pulled him down. The linebacker from Maitland, Georgia. And here comes the kicking team. Tom Nichol comes into the booting. His longest in college, 43 yards. His longest in high school, 54. He's one for two in the field goal department so far this year. Grogan is coming in there to do the holding. Grogan's the number two quarterback. 
It'll be a 25-yard attempt from the hash mark left. Grogan holding. Tom Nickel kicking. And it's good. 25-yard field goal is good. And the lead is taken to the Hawkeyes, 3-0. They took the opening kickoff, drove down the field, had to settle for the field goal, but they're out in front by three points. You're about to enter the world of a new technology called X-ray microscopy. Developed by IBM research scientists to advance computer technology, it brought them close inside this computer chip, discovering details no one had ever seen before. The scientists then wondered what they would see if they examined blood cells the same way. What they saw fascinated medical researchers. They discovered structures within the living human cell never seen before. A number of medical researchers have already used this new technology to examine sickle cells and cancer cells. X-ray microscopy, an example of how IBM research can contribute not only to business, but to life itself. Monday at 9, 8 Central and Mountain, you will enter a world of passion and pride, honor and deceit. Emerald Point, NAS, a special two-hour premiere. The kickoff now will be by Tom Nickel, who just kicked the 25-yard field goal. And the deep men will be Byers and Lindsay. Keith Byers and Kelvin Lindsay, the alternated tailback for Ohio State. Sometimes they have had John Frank back there deep, but not on this opening reception. You want to know how this series has gone. The last 16 times these teams have met, Ohio State won. That was over a period of 21 years. So it's been 21 years since Iowa defeated Ohio State. That was 1962. This is a big game. This is the biggest crowd ever to see a game in the stadium because they added 6,000 seats during the offseason. Reckoned at about 65,100. Nickel puts it up. Throw to Byers out of the field. Lindsay now comes up and makes it at the 11, to the 15, to the 20. Lindsay to the 25. It'll be marked across the 25 yard line. Joe Schuster made the tackle. Quarterback Mike Tomzak, Byers, and Broadnax are the backs. Anderson and Jemison are the wide receivers in that big tight end. Keep an eye on him. Number 89 is John Frank. Tomzak brings him up. He's completed 72% of his passes this year, ranked number one in passing efficiency in the country. Here's a Tuesday back in the fire. He fired from Dayton, Ohio. Fired in at the 31 yard line. Here's the defensive line, the five down lineman. Peterson is the nose guard. And the two linebackers, Kulu and Station, good one. And the deep back, Devon Mitchell, starting at the free safety today for the first time. Second down, eight yards to go at the 31. Fires again, carries from the tailback. Gets it across the 35 to the 36 yard line again at five and it'll make it third down and three yards to go. Yakula from Deerfield, Illinois came in to make the tackle. North Carolina with 51 points, a final score. So the Tar Heels are rolling along. They'll have a high rankings for a long time with the schedule they're playing this year. The Hawkeyes are ready. But not quite ready for this, Byers. Across the 50-yard line and all the way down to the 43-yard line. Keith Byers with a big gainer. That'll be a first and ten for Ohio State and Iowa territory. Nate Creer made the tackle. Look, Byers number 41 now. He's going to take a little pitch out. Tom Zach. Good block there by Broadnax. Good feet. Takes up it inside. There he goes. Now, Broadnax is a big, big fullback, but this guy here is not too small either. He's 226 pounds. He's a big, big halfback. Tom Zack, the quarterback, takes the handoff to the tailback, goes to the right side, and it's Frank. It's big John Frank, and he gathers it in and goes out of bounds at the 31-yard line. His first reception of the day, he's had 10 this year. He's their leading pass receiver. 
Covering over there was Keith Hunter. Will be an out pass by the tight end, number 89, John Frank. Tomzak sets up and leads him. I thought that the linebacker was going to pick this one off. It's close. Great one-handed catch. Brings it in. Stays inbounds. Tries to turn up. Good job by Frank. Cedric Anderson's in the wide left. Give it to Byers again off the tailback. Byers goes into the 28-yard line for a gain of three to make it second down and seven yards to go. Howard Peterson, the nose guard, made the tackle. It's a problem that the Iowa defensive coaches are afraid of. Defensive coordinator Bill Breiser. He's got some new people in the middle of that line, and he's got five new starters overall in the entire defense. He said that the down line are going to have to control the Ohio State offensive line. At this point, Ohio State's got a good, consistent drive going. Iowa's got to get a little bit tougher in there. West Virginia has defeated Boston College, final score. Tom Zach has the ball. Overthrows Frank down the sideline near the 10. It'll be third down and seven yards to go. Back at the 28-yard line. Dad Jemison is one wide receiver. It's a good play by Tom Zach. He rolled out. He's looking for his deep receiver. Cedric he could, not, could not get the ball to him, so he threw it out of bounds, basically. Good play by Tom Zach. Earl Bruce getting in a little pacing time. Third down and seven yards to go. There's a screen, and Byers has it. Byers goes only to the 25-yard line. That's going to make it fourth and three. Wentz, Wendt it with the tackle. Tony Wank it. Tom Jack set that up pretty good. Lindsey, he rolled out to his left, stopped, threw back across the field. Unfortunately, Tony Wank was sitting there waiting for the ball. Did an excellent job. So it's Ritz Spangler in now. Rich Spangler in to attempt the field goal. His long for the year is 29. His high school long was 51. This will be a 42. Spangler with a 42-yard attempt that sails off right and spirals incomplete. It's no good. It's no good. So the ball is taken over by the Hawkeyes, who still lead in this ballgame. On the failed field goal by Ohio State, the score is still Iowa 3, Ohio State nothing. Don't talk to me about high tech. You fellas know I'm used to some pretty sophisticated filter systems. Test pilot Chuck Yeager for AC Delco. Now, I don't care what kind of car you drive. The filters you want to buy are AC filters. An AC oil filter can serve you up to 15,000 miles. An air filter, clean up to 30,000 miles. The choice is yours. But for my money, it's AC Delco, the smart part. The sun brings out all kinds of people, and they all want a beer that won't slow them down. Turn it loose, turn it loose, turn it loose tonight. Coors Light, Coors Light, turn it loose tonight. Don't hold back, don't hold back, turn it loose tonight. Beer after beer when you're moving around. Coors Light is the one that won't slow you down. Coors Light, turn it loose tonight. The membership of the National Federation of State High School Associations coordinates interscholastic activities programs for over 20,000 high schools nationwide. Millions of boys and girls benefit from the values of these essential activities, which are inherently educational and enhance classroom performance. At Jam Pack Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, Iowa, the Hawkeyes are leading Ohio State by a score of 3 to nothing. We're in the first quarter. I'm Lindsey Nelson with Jack Snow, and this is exciting college football on CBS. First down and 10 yards to go. Owen Gill is now in there at tailback. Eddie Phillips was in for the first drive. They alternate. Ball is at the 24-yard line. Long with a pitch to Gill. Gill gets through to the 26-yard line. He picked up two yards on the play. It'll be second down and eight. Steve Hill came up from his rover spot. He's from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Owen Gill, by the way, is from Brooklyn, New York, from Tilden High School. Here comes Brohammer, in at a wide receiver, replacing Ronnie Harmon. Second down play coming now for Iowa. Colors are black and gold. Chuck Long, the quarterback. Give it to his fullback, Norm Granger, captain of the team from Barringer High in Newark, New Jersey. 
He got to the 27-yard line, picked up about a yard, and Spencer Elms, the nose man, was the, on the tackle. You don't hear a lot about Granger, Lindsay, but he's a very, very consistent performer for the Hawkeyes. He's in there, he's doing his job, play in and play out. He blocks when he's got a block, he makes a good block. When he carries the ball, he gives it 100%. Good, consistent performer. Third and seven on the 27. Running backs a split. Chuck Long, pump, got the reverse again. Owen Gill pulled on at the line of scrimmage for no game. That'll bring the punting unit on. If there's anything about their game that I was a little shaky about and a little uh, worried about, it is the punting game. And the man who does the punting these days is Tom Nickel. He has averaged 37.3. He was last year's pooch kicker. This year he's doing all the punting. Garcia Lane is deep. Garcia Lane at the 39-yard line to the 40. Garcia Lane to the 45 to the 46-yard line. First and 10. Good field position for Ohio State. They have the ball at their own 46-yard line. 34-yard kick returns seven yards. Still three nuts for the Hawkeyes. Right now, the one thing you want most is an opportunity. to forget Valvoline was the first to show you how to save money by changing your own oil. And it's easy to forget Valvoline was the first to put 12 quarts in a handy carry-out case. And it's easy to forget Valvoline is the choice of leading race drivers the world over. Yep, it's easy to forget all this about Valvoline. As long as you remember, Valvoline is everything you need in a motor oil. Tonight, the game that could make or break the season for Jerry Faust fighting Irish. It's Notre Dame against Miami from the Orange Bowl tonight on CBS Sports. Notre Dame and Miami tonight on CBS. And Jack Snow, you played in Notre Dame. I saw him play a lot, and we both know that Notre Dame and Miami is frequently a war. There's no question about it. Jerry's not real happy with what happened last week. They'll be ready tonight, believe me. First down, 10 yards to go for Ohio State. Try counter, and it's Byers, and he breaks the tackle and goes to the 45-40, 35, Byers to the 30. Byers still going, and Byers is dragged down inside the 10-yard line by Nate Creer. Nate Creer from Brooklyn, New York, Tilden High School, dragged him down. Just outside the 8-yard line, first and goal. 46-yard scamper on a counter play for Byers. Basic off tackle play, great broken field running by Byers. Now watch him now. Makes a couple of moves, cuts back across field, takes it upfield, protecting the ball well inside. Iowa was indefinitely in hot pursuit, and they drag him down about the eight yard line. Great run by Keith Byers. Byers had carried five times for 83 yards. Now, first down and goal for the Buckeyes of Ohio State. The eight yard line. Tries a tailback, and it's Kelvin Lindsay. He alternates with Byers frequently, and he's just outside the three yard line where it's second down and goal to go. Larry Station, fine linebacker, came in to make the tackle they're doing what Ohio State's doing is they feel that they can run the ball on Iowa and they're going to test them early which they've done the last two series they're going to keep doing it until Iowa can stop their running game they've got the leading passer in Tomzak but they're not going to use him if they don't have to they're going to keep it on the ground second down and goal to go just outside the three yard line running back to the nine formation Rodnax is a 252 pound fullback give it to the tailback Lindsay driving, and he has stopped just outside the goal line, where it'll be third down and goal to go. Mike Stoops up from safety to make the stop. So now the Buckeyes of Ohio State are right down there, knocking on that touchdown door inside the one-yard line, trailing by three points. We have two minutes left to play in the first quarter. Defense is the chance for the Hawkeyes fans. And Byers. Byers is back in the tailback. Byers. Touchdown. Touchdown. Call by the linesman on the far side of the field. Right behind Robertson Loudermilk. Byers went up and got in. 
On the near side where he went, the linesman did not call it, but it was called from the far side. Good job of the interior of that Ohio State line. Joe Dooley, Kirk Laudermill. Coming right at us now. Watch number 41. Rodnex with the block up over the top. Good effort. He's in there. Close, but he's in there. Rich Spangler's under attempting conversion now with Tom Zach holding for him. Straight away, and it's up, and it's good. So the Buckeyes of Ohio State have gone out in front in this ball game with one minute, 43 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Ohio State leads 7-3. Enjoy being buried in the sand. <laughs> Would good friends really play this hard for a beer? Well, it is Michelob Light, the rich, smooth taste you can compare to any beer you like. Michelob Light for the winner. Ah, the sea, the sun, the sand. The check. The check. Michelob Light. No, it's after I return the call that he returned. Why waste most of your phone calls? After, after I return the call. When IBM has a system for companies with many phones that stores your voice messages in a computer. Record. When I get back next Thursday, there will be a meeting of all department heads in the conference room. And delivers them when you want to as many people as you want. Now that's a lot easier, isn't it? That's Byers who just scored the touchdown. He's carried six times for 84 yards, and he's had one touchdown. The drive was four plays, 54 yards, took 146. Spangler will kick it off now for Ohio State, and deeper Granger and Harmon. Granger on the far side. Harmon is waiting. Five yards deep in the end zone, will not run it out. Touchback, first and 10 at the 20-yard line. Tomorrow is an NFL doubleheader day on CBS Sports. In the early game now, many of you are going to see the New Orleans Saints take on the Dallas Cowboys, a team they've beaten only once in their history. And then, in the doubleheader game, it'll be the Washington Redskins against the Seattle Seahawks or the Los Angeles Rams and the New York Jets, plus other regional action. It all starts off with the NFL today. Check your local listings for the game in your area. Big day on CBS Sports. First down, 10 yards to go at the 20. Chuck Long, the Iowa quarterback, has the ball. Setting it up has time, but not that much time, so he is filled back at the 17-yard line by Dave Morrow, Centerville, Ohio. Ohio State's going to play some zone defense here. The quarterback, Chuck Long, has all day to pick out the receivers, but his receivers can't find the open scene. They're all covered. Excellent job by Tatum and the rest of the Ohio State defensive team. Iowa has rushed for 37 yards. Ohio State for 91 so far. Eddie Phillips back in there to tail back on this drive, and he goes up to the 22, which is going to make it third down and eight yards to go at the 22-yard line. Clark Backus made the tackle. Ohio State is leading by a score of 7-3. to three. A beautiful fall day here in Iowa City. Less than a minute to play in the first quarter of this football game. Back is having an outstanding day so far. Lindsay's he's made a couple of key tackles and key situations. Ronnie Harmon came into that huddle with the play and has gone out to take a wide left. There's Backus, number 17, from Maitland, Georgia. Maitland, Florida, I beg your pardon. And that'll be a delay of game. That'll be the 25 got him. You must get that ball in play in college football within 25 seconds, and they didn't. The layup game cost him five. He's going to make it third and 13. We haven't heard from Dave Moritz, the uh, split in for Iowa. Let's see if they plan on going to him this down or not. It's going to be third and long. Offense. Third down. Third and 13 at the 16-yard line. Now the clock says 22 seconds, and uh, it is running. So they could be playing a little gamesmanship and letting the time run out here so they'll get to punt with the win, assuming they're going to punt on the next down. Mike tries the delay, and on the draw play, it is taken by Phillips. Phillips gets up there to about the line of scrimmage. The time will run out in the quarter before they can ever snap the ball again, and it does just there. 
So they will get to punt with their backs to the wind, which will be a considerable advantage here this afternoon with a stiff wind blowing right to left as you look at the field. The gun has sounded. So at the end of the first quarter, at Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, it's Ohio State 7 and Iowa 3. When people pump their own gas, they sometimes forget to check things. So when they come in for service... Mr. Goodwrench, there's something wrong. Well, let's take a look. Mr. Goodwrench knows your GM car. He has the right tools and the right GM training available to spot your problems fast. Mr. Goodwrench? Nothing serious. Just needs a tune-up. By the way, your oil is low. Here's how to check. Keep that great GM feeling. With Mr. Goodwrench. With genuine GM parts. Baseball star Jim Palmer. I hate dandruff. Cantegrin controlled Jim Palmer's dandruff for three days without shampooing. Three days. Tegrin test, day one. Beautiful, so far. Day two. Tegrin's still working. Good thing it's almost airtime. Day three. Tegrin controlled my dandruff three days. Jim Palmer, looking good. Try Tegrin. It passed the three-day test. Tegrin works day after day after day. We are an explorer, a farmer, a miner, and an insurance company. We're a pipeline, a truck line, a gold mine, and a leasing company. We're a builder, a printer, a logger, and an energy company. We are more than 41,000 men and women working in 18 different industries all across America. We are Southern Pacific. We also run a railroad. I'm Lindsay Nelson with Jack Snow. Jack, anything surprise you especially yet? I'm surprised that Iowa hasn't done better in their running game. They should be able to get that ball going pretty good and establish a little bit more of a running game. They're putting, getting pressure put on them by Ohio State. It is too early in the game for that. All right, we're getting ready now for Iowa to give up this football. They're back in deep punt formation with Tom Nickel to do the punting. Gets the snap. And it is taken at the 45-yard line. And right there, Garcia Lane slips down, so they'll start again in good field position. It was a 34-yard punt. So Nickel still is not getting a great deal of distance in his punting game, and his first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Tomzak has not had the throw so far, leading the nation in passing efficiency, but as Jack Snow has pointed out, the Buckeyes have been content behind one of the finest offensive lines in football just to move it on the ground. But Max, primarily a blocking back there, fullback, weighs 252. Here's it to a tailback. That is Lindsey, Kelvin Lindsey from Sandusky, Ohio, stopped by Larry Station, Omaha, Nebraska. Be interesting, Lindsay, to see if the Iowa State defense has made any adjustments while they were off the field that last series. They're going to have to do some stunning. They're going to have to get a little bit more activity from their linebackers, and they're going to have to shut down the Ohio State run. Second down and seven at the 48-yard line. Myers is back in their tailback now for the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Tomzak breaks the tackle. Gets down to the 44-yard line. Nate Queer. Stopped by Nate Creer. That is a first and ten. As Tom Zach picked it up. Tom Zach ran a little bootleg, faked to his halfback, kept the ball, put it on his hip. George Little, number 77, almost had him. Kelvin Lindsay's back in there now. He and Keith Powers alternate a great deal at tailback. Cedric Anderson's in a wide right. He's number 22. Jemison, number 88 from Cincinnati, Ohio. At the 35-yard line, Wankett made the tackle. 
Jemison coming to the top of the screen. Number eight, he's just running what we call an over route. He's sneaking across the middle of the field, avoiding the linebackers, catches it right in between the two, and turns upfield to get some yardage. Second down and a yard to go. Second and one. Fire. Trying to stretch out his body, but he didn't get it. George Little got there in a hurry. From Duquesne, Pennsylvania. Stopped him at the 36-yard line. Loss of a yard. Make it third and two now. All guy defense convening there. Little had a, a little help with number 64, Paul Hubbard, on that last play. That's what I was going to have to continue to do, shut it down. Hawkeyes have led the Big Ten in total defense the last two years, and now that's contact made before the snap. Big move along the line there. Looks like Hufford, Paul Hufford, from Mount Vernon, Iowa. You're right, Benji. He did come across, but he must have seen some movement inside and by that right guard from Ohio State. Apparently so, because the penalty is against the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Scott Zielinski, perhaps. Procedure. Offense. Procedure Pushes the ball back to the 41-yard line. It's a third down and seven yards to go. And a timeout charts the Buckeyes of Ohio State. They have taken the timeout. They're leading in the game by a score of seven to three, and we have 12 minutes, 43 seconds left in the first half. John Houseman for the investment firm of Smith Barney. Good investments don't walk up, bite you on the bottom, and say, we're here. Finding them takes good old-fashioned hard work, research. The kind they do at Smith Barney. Smith Barney is among a handful of top investment firms singled out for their work in research. Smith Barney. They make money the old-fashioned way. They earn it. Back in 1979, I did a commercial that showed my crew repairing this street here in Oklahoma City. We used a fabric underliner developed by Phillips Petroleum that helped streets last longer. And did it work? Absolutely. This street hasn't needed a single repair since then. It's nice to know you can fix something and have it stay fixed, especially when it saves you tax dollars, year after year. Fine products for you and your car from Phillips Petroleum, the performance company. Next Saturday, a national title will be at stake when they play the singles final of the U.S. Women's Indoor Tennis Championship. Next Saturday on CBS Sports. Mike Tomczak, the quarterback for Ohio State. There are his numbers for the day. He is from Calumet City, Illinois. Both the quarterbacks in today's game played high school football in suburban Chicago. Long is from Wheaton. Tomczak. Anderson incomplete. Cedric Anderson with a diving attempt back to the 26-yard line. Sims was covering defensively on the corner. So it's fourth down coming now. Fourth and seven. Penn State leading there. North Carolina winning there. Georgia beating South Carolina 31-13. And Illinois beating Michigan State 20-10. Virginia 26, North Carolina State 14. Brent Musburger will have all the scores at halftime. Punter is into the ball game now, and that is Mark Edwards. He's averaged 41.1. Fair catch signal goes up, but he goes across the end line, and it'll be a touchback first and 10 at the 21-yard line. 20-yard line, a 41-yard kick. And a hand is for the defense of the Hawkeyes. Hawkeyes are the favorite team in this stadium, believe me. Hayden Fry is a very popular man himself. Turned the program around here at the University of Iowa. Came here from North Texas State. He'd been head coach for a good long stretch at Southern Methodist. Had been an assistant at Arkansas at one time. First and 10 at the 20. is looking and he has a lot of time and he throws long and it's incomplete intended for robert smith but incomplete and a long better now for an ncaa today update let's go to brent musburger in new york lindsay third and two for nebraska against ucla mike rozier is cut off on the sweep to the left 
he cuts back to the right side, and he freelances his way for a touchdown, and Nebraska now leads UCLA 21 to 10. Back to Lindsey Nelson. All right, Brent, and here Ohio State is leading Iowa by a score of 7 to 3. It'll be second down and 10 yards to go at the 20-yard line. Jonathan Hayes comes back into the ballgame at tight end now for Iowa. Harmon's on the wide left. He's number 31. Chuck Long is the quarterback. Long with the ball. Up the middle, and Hayes has it. And Hayes is spilled at the 41, but he was already down before the ball squirted away. A reception. He was down. Ball squirted away, but when his knee touched the ground, that ball is dead. 22-yard pickup. Ohio State's playing a double outside zone again. They're rolling up on the outside people, leaving the middle wide open. Great job by Jonathan Hayes. He feels his seam in there, settles down in between the two deep, and makes a good catch. Steve Hill on that last tackle there is Jonathan Hayes. South Bend, Pennsylvania. Three for five, 57 yards for Chuck Long. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Long, short drop. Unloads in a hurry. Diving catch along the sideline by Brohammer. And it is a completion to Brohammer. It's going to be marked at the 46-yard line again of four yards. The short out pattern, Lindsay, because it's come down about six, seven yards, make a sharp cut to the outside. This is a great seven, eight-yard reception, believe me. Stretches out, comes down inbounds. Good throw, good catch, good route. Second down at six yards to go. Brohammer, number 27, the man who caught the ball. Chuck Long brings the Hawkeyes up. This is Owen Gill. Gill to the 49-yard line, stopped by Dave Morrow. Gill from Tilden High in Brooklyn, New York. Then about three on the last play, I'll make it third down and three. As Morrow, who made the last tackle. Well, it's not that bad, really. Third down and three yards to go. They've got March to a wide right. I haven't thrown to him yet today. Long. Pull down. He was looking for March, but he got held up and bumped on the far side. It's back to the 41-yard line of Iowa. Vesilius is the man who made the tackle. Third sack. I'm long today. What's happened, Lindsay? The reason Long's rolling out is he's not quite sure if he can stay in the, in the pocket. Vasilius comes in, makes a good job. Long's looking downfield, just can't get rid of the ball, so he holds on to it. Good move, good move by Long. Tom Nickel is in to do the punting. Garcia Lane is deep to receive it. Garcia Lane takes it at the 13-yard line. He's back to the 10. Now turns up field and gets only to the 14. Hilgenberg, Joel Hilgenberg, downfield to make the tackle. They've had a long string of Hilgenbergs playing football at the University of Iowa. Good luck, son. Make us proud. This year, two million families will send their kids off to college. But many of these kids won't be able to compete because they lack computer skills. A home computer can help. The Commodore 64 gives you more computer for less money than anyone else. Instead of saving for your kid's education, maybe you should spend a little for it. The fresh of the Rockies, brewed the Coors way, natural and pure. Coors to you, the clean of it, all night through the fresh of it. Rocky Mountain Gold, you got it. The best of the Rockies is yours. The membership of the National Federation of State High School Associations coordinates interscholastic activities programs for over 20,000 high schools nationwide. Millions of boys and girls benefit from the values of these essential activities, which are inherently educational and enhance classroom performance. Cavaliers of Virginia defeated North Carolina State 26 to 14. And Syracuse defeated Rutgers 17-13. First down and 10 yards to go at the 14-yard line for Ohio State. 
Contact the quarterback. Lindsey's the tailback. Lindsey's got the ball. And he gets it out to the 17 yard line. So for an NCAA today, a report, let's go to Brent Musburger in New York. Lindsey Ernest Anderson is out for Oklahoma State, and here is his replacement, Sean Jones. He explodes for 80 yards, and Oklahoma State now has taken a 7-6 lead on Texas A&M. Back to Lindsey. It's Ohio State 7, Iowa 3, second down, 7 yards to go at the 17-yard line. Comzak throwing, incomplete, trying to get it out there to Thad Jemison again. Jemison from Cincinnati, Ohio. It'll be third down and seven yards to go. Both of these teams think that first down is of ultra importance in any series to start. Ohio State University has averaged on first down today 11.3. Iowa has averaged 3.1. Iowa's got to do much better than that, Lindsay. They want to stay in this game. Maryland beat Pittsburgh. High score of 10 to 7. Contact. Well, there was no one near. There was no one near. Lindsay was crossing, but was well across. Lindsay was across one way. Jemison ran and out. It looked like the quarterback and receiver just didn't have it together on that particular pass play. Comzak is 3 for 7, 24 yards in the air, and he leaves the field as the punting unit comes on. Carl Edwards in to do the punting. Robert Smith is back deep to receive it for Iowa. Being joined back there by Stoops halfway back. The footer booms it out. Robert Smith moves up and fumbles the ball. He muffed it. Scramble is still on. Squirting around here and there. And it's at the 40-yard line of Iowa, recovered by the Hawkeyes of Iowa. They retained possession. And how they did it, I'll never know. It was Ken Sims on the football. Sims recovered it. What does it take to excel? You have my word. You'll get it tomorrow. It takes reliability, speed, economy it takes express mail next day service from the post office our two pound pack is just 935 most others charge about twice that we deliver over 90,000 packages on time every day you're a man of your word i just got it express mail service we deliver excellence for less howard spokes meet bump 32 route 16 Foster Family, Pothole 44, Route 12. Now America, meet Monroe Gasmatic Shock Struts and Cartridges. Built with a special nitrogen gas charge, they ride better than conventional hydraulic shocks. So good, we'll replace them no charge if they don't give you the best ride ever. So, put a cushion of gas between you and the road with Monroe Gasmatic Shock Struts and Cartridges. They're the reason the bump stops here. Kennick Stadium in Iowa City. It is Ohio State 7, Iowa 3. And Jack Snow is here. Lindsay, watch Robert Smith. He's a little short on that. The ball gets caught up in the wind. The wind holds it from getting further downfield, and Robert kind of dives to try and catch it, which he should never do. If anything, he should let the ball go. Sims finally came up with it. So Iowa gets the ball first and 10 at their own 40-yard line. We have nine minutes, 34 seconds left to play in the first half. Jam packed, sold out Kinnick Stadium on the campus of the University of Iowa. Chuck Long, the quarterback. He puts it in tight. Taken by Granger. Granger is at the 44, so that'll make it second down and six yards to go. Dave Morrow came in to make the tackle. And it's Auburn 37, Tennessee 14. That's the final score. Auburn coming back from last week's loss to Texas. West Virginia 27, Boston College 17. That's the final. Ball is marked ready for play at the 44-yard line of Iowa. Hawkeyes scored in their first possession. Took the opening kickoff, drove down, kicked the field goal. And Ohio State got the ball, went down, and scored a touchdown. That's all the scoring we've had. Shift the running backs into an I formation. Long still has the ball. Now throws up the middle, and it's incomplete and almost intercepted. Jonathan Hayes is the man for whom it was intended. And Hill, Doug Hill, 
Had it right in his hand, but didn't expect it, I think. I agree with you, Lindsay. There's a little bit of traffic in there when Jonathan went across to catch it. Long is four for six so far in the ball game. He's looking for the zone defense. He lays it up over 98, has a shot, two, three. Should have been intercepted. There's no question about it. He threw into cover into a secondary coverage that he should not have thrown into. Football fans are all pumped up here in the Midwest. The college football season is underway, and we're glad to bring it to you on CBS. Try the reverse play. Ronnie Harmon cut off at the pass that time. Orlando Lowry and the Buckeye defense. Cresselius was there. Back at the 42-yard line. That'll bring the punting unit on now for Iowa, and that means Tom Nickel. He's had something of a tough time getting any distance. As last year's pooch kicker, having a little trouble getting the kind of height and distance required by a man who does all the kicking. He's averaged 37-6 so far. Garcia Lane is deep for Ohio State. Hits at the 20 and heads for the sideline and goes out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Well, in the fashion of a good pooch kicker, he kicked it out of bounds at the 18-yard line. A 40-yard punt with no return. It's a good one. You can see the wind is blowing rather stiffly here this afternoon and is perhaps a factor. I'm not always sure that the wind currents down there on the field are the same as they are when you look at the flag up on the rim. We were watching earlier in the pregame warm-up, Lindsay, and, and the punters who were going from right to left were getting a good punt, but not like you think that they would get with the wind that we supposedly thought that was there. Contacts the quarterback for Ohio State. Oh, my. Given to Keith Byers, and he was pumped immediately by Larry Station. Let's go to Brent Musburger in New York. Lindsay, Nebraska is rolling again. Here is Turner Gill hitting his backup fullback, Tom Rathman. And now the Cornhuskers have scored 28 unanswered points against UCLA. Back to Lindsay. The Cornhuskers are tough, and I think everybody knows it by now. It really are. Second down and 10 yards to go at the 18-yard line. Contact quarterback. Great pitch to Byers. Lots of running room for the big tailback. Across the 32-yard line. That'll be a first and 10. Iowa has not yet made an adjustment yet. Second down and nine, and they're running sweeps. They've got to shut that down. Iowa has got to shut that down. Byers comes out, does a good job, turns up field after he gets around the corner, picks up some valuable yards. Iowa has got to get more consistent. They've got to start doing something where they stunt, where they blitz, anything to slow down that Ohio State offense. Byers has carried nine times for 97 yards. He weighs 226 pounds. Man ahead of him is Broad, actually weighs 252. This is Lindsey carrying. He shut off right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be second down and 10 yards to go there. Mike Giacullo made the tackle. I love you, baby. Second down and 10 at the 32. Here's a correction. The final score, and it is a correction, Maryland 13, Pittsburgh 7. Maryland 13, Pittsburgh 7, and that is a corrected final. That's a one of the plays. They've got second down 11. Byers is back in there at tailback. Ohio State is leading here by a score of 7 to 3. Six minutes, 43 seconds left in the first half. Zach with the ball. Opposite complete to the 46-yard line by set to Cedric Anderson, number 22. Nate Queer made the tackle. Cedric's going to run a basic turn in. He comes down the field about 14, 15 yards, gets inside of number 21, settles back to the quarterback, does a good job, nice route. Covers up, turns up field, ball's there on time, receiver makes his break just like he brought up. Picked up 13 yards in the first down on the play. There are Anderson's numbers. Tried to send this one up the middle with Lindsey carrying. Kelvin Lindsey, the tailback. He got about a yard on the play because Howard Peterson, the nose man, was there. Second down, nine yards to go at the 45-yard line. Peterson played that very well, Lindsey. He stood up Joe Dooley, kept him from going right or going left, and waited to pick off that ball carry when it came by. Good job by Howard Peterson. Second down play coming. Anderson out of the huddle out to a wide right. He's number 22. Mike Tomczak brings them up. Tomczak up the middle, and it's Frank, and it's incomplete. Might have been intercepted. John Frank, the man for whom it was intended. Mike Stoops made the move on the ball.
It was right down the gutter here. Now let's watch him. Ball's in the air. Bump. Uh, should maybe have had, to, maybe should have caught that. He should have caught that. 41 Dexon wishes him well here in Iowa City. Third down conversions, two of five for the Buckeyes today. That's the fun part of running those routes over the middle, Lindsay. You get a lot of free dents will work that way. <laughs> Third and nine at the 45 yard line. Iowa fans trying to exhort the Hawkeye defense on this third down play. Calvin Lindsay. It looks from here as though he's about a foot short, or maybe a little more than a foot. Hooks made the tackle. Hayden Fry, head coach of the Hawkeyes of Iowa. He's been to the wars, Hayden has. Punning it, it comes on for Ohio State. That means Carl Edwards will come in to do the kicking. Iowa hurrying some men in there. Got to get somebody deep. Now they get Mike Stoops going deep. They're going to double up back there, as a matter of fact. See if Ohio can stay can drop this ball somewhere around the 10 yard line to the goal line. Just drop it in there and see what happens. Stoops and Devon Mitchell are deep. Devon Mitchell looks up, says, Not me, not here, and it takes an Ohio State bounce. Nice call. It's exactly what they did was drop it, and it took a good bounce and went out of bounds near the 10 yard on a 36 yard punt with no return. So the Hawkeyes get the ball, but they get it deep in their own territory, and Ohio State's leading by a score of 7 to 3. Thousands of executives are faced with having to be in two places at once. That's why AT&T figured out a way to do just that. The concept of teleconferencing. Anything's possible. Using the AT&T network, the most powerful communication network in the world, teleconferencing lets you communicate over thousands of miles face-to-face -face without being there face-to-face. -face. Tell them the good news. See you later. The teleconferencing concept from AT&T, expanding your ability to communicate. Coming up at halftime now today, the NCAA today will have Brent and Era with scores and highlights of other games all around the country. And then Pat O'Brien has a very special interview with Jerry Faust, the head coach of the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, who will be playing Miami tonight. And I know where Jack Snow and I are going to be tonight. We're going to be right back down the road a few steps here watching that game on television. Exactly. First and 10 from the 10, and the quick pitch to the tailback, Owen Gill. Owen Gill gets it up there to about the 12-yard line. They'll fight it near the 15, so I'll call it again a five second down and five yards to go. You get the feeling, Lindsay, that Iowa can't get anything established. They're, they're running a little here, running a little there, but they're not doing anything uh, to try and establish the running game. They couple couple reverses they've run, but there's nothing that's been definite where they can do consistently. In the last four possessions, three plays and punt, four plays and punt, five plays and punt, three plays and punt. That's up to the 18-yard line with Owen Gill carrying and Spencer Nell has made the tackle. It'll be third down and two yards to go. They're gonna want to pick up that first down here to maintain possession because with the way the Iowa punter's been punting the ball. If they don't pick up the first down in Iowa punts, Ohio State will have very good field position for this last three and a half minutes. This is, by the way, the first home game for the Iowa Hawkeyes since November 13th of last year. They went on the road, then beat Michigan State. In the Peach Bowl, they defeated Tennessee, and they won their first two games this year at Ohio State and at Penn State. They need two here. Might have been a shade short as Owen Gill carried. Clark Backus in to make the tackle. Iowa close. State is where they open. I beg your pardon. Going to be close, Lindsay. Very, very close. And they will bring out the chain to measure. What do you think, Lindsay? Think you made it? Never guess. 
Not this late. I'm going to say uh, <laughs> yes. First and ten. <laughs> That's a good time to guess. About an inch. Just short of the 20-yard line. Ohio State still leading 7-3, but now the Hawkeyes managed to keep their drive alive, albeit deep in their own territory. Three minutes and 13 seconds left to play in the first half. We had anticipated a big offensive show in this ballgame. We haven't had exactly that. We have had a head-on struggle here so far. He was not in the grasping control because he got it off. Nelms was all over him there and was grasping, grasping him, but I guess not controlling him. He finally got it off intended for Mike Hufford. Well, what they're doing is they're, when they rush the quarterback, when they're rushing long, they're rushing from outside in. They're not going to let him run that short rollout like he tried to do the first quarter. And that shuts him down from getting outside. Then he got to step back up in the pocket. And by that time, the interior of the Ohio State defensive line is coming up through the gut. And it puts a lot of pressure on him. He doesn't have time to settle into routine and pick out his receivers. Long is four for seven, 61 yards so far. Now the draw play. Oh, and Gill. Up to about the 24-yard line before Spencer Elms again came in to make the tackle. That'll make it third and six. Clock continues to run, of course. Here comes Ronnie Harmon in for the next play. In the Big Ten, Northwestern seven, Indiana nothing in the fourth quarter. The Wildcats of Northwestern out in front. Big Ten Commissioner Wayne Duke is here for this ball game this afternoon. Third down conversion, three of eight for Iowa. Long. Well, he never saw the man who came from the backside. Kurt Curtis is the man who cut him down. That'll bring on the punting in it as the Hawkeyes will have to give it up. It was Fred Bush who got on it now. Here's Long setting up. He's not going to see it. Here he comes. Here comes Curtis. Boom. He never sees him coming from the backside. He starts, looks like he's starting to throw the ball, but he never gets it up high enough. Thank goodness Iowa recovered that ball. Iowa recovered, and they go into deep punt formation now with Nickel to do the punting. Taken by Garcia Lane at the 46, he's at the 50. And he's at the 48. In Iowa territory, a 40-yard punt returns six yards. So it'll be first and 10 for the Buckeyes, and they'll have it at the 48-yard line of the Hawkeyes. Colorado State 17, Iowa State 14 in the fourth quarter. A lot of interest uh, in this. Earl Bruce was head coach at Iowa State when he replaced Woody Hayes at Ohio State. He had gone to school at Ohio State, Earl Bruce had, had been... Uh, Injured, which put an end to his football playing career. Hayden Fry now, issuing some instructions along the sideline. Tailback is Keith Byers for this set. Contact to Byers. Byers at the 40. That big man, 226 pounds, rambles like a freight train down to the 35 yard line. Larry Station in to make the tackle. Runs very well for a big man. There's no question about it. He's got good, quick feet, and they're always moving. You never see him standing around. First down, 10 yards to go. Clock is running with 1 minute, 23 seconds. Left to play in the first half of the ballgame. Ohio State is leading 7-3. to three. Contact. Incomplete. Trying to get this one out to Byers again. That will stop the clock at 116. Byers is hurt. Byers is hurt. Might be winded, might be hurt more seriously. The officials trying to get members of the training staff out there to see about him, and they are there. He took a shot. There's no question of that. It was Keith Hunter who was the defender on that play. Let's take a peek at it here and see what happens. The defensive back arrives at the same time as the ball, almost boom. There he gets a good stick on him. Might be that left knee. It may be that left knee. So that is Keith Byers, who is the starting tailback, and who alternates with Lindsay at that position. Total yards for the day so far. Ohio State University, 178. Iowa, 113.
There's Tom Zach throwing. Let's watch his left leg now. Let's, right around in the area. Let's see what happens. Right about bang, right there. There it is. He gets caught with his shoulder pads into the left side of his knee. And the defender was Keith Hunter. That's one of those medial collateral ligament shots. Earl Bruce, who has been the winningest coach in the Big Ten since 1979. He was six years at Iowa State before he went there. Bruce at Ohio State is 2-0 and against Iowa. These two teams did not play the last two years. This year, for the first time, the Big Ten is playing a true round robin. Every team plays every other team. Let's, let's hope he's not injured seriously because he's, he's a great back. There's no question of it. He means an awful lot to the Ohio State offense. They'll take him into the locker room. They'll run a couple x-rays and, and fiddle around with it. The trainer will test it for strength and to see, uh, see how bad it is. It looks like he's heading off to the locker room. Let's hope he has the opportunity to come back or at least he's not seriously injured. The hand from the fans here at Iowa. They love their football in Iowa City in this area of the country, as a matter of fact. Even in the years when the Iowa Hawkeyes were not winning an awful lot and they had a stretch when they weren't, the University of Iowa football team got great support. Clock showed one minute, 16 seconds left to play in the first half. Ohio State is leading by a score of 7-3. to three. I want to get Byers over to where he can go ahead into the locker room if need be and get attention. At least he can get attention along that sideline right there from the physicians who are there. Lindsey is now in at tailback, of course. Second down, 10 yards to go at the 35-yard line. Ohio State in Iowa territory. Fake to Lindsey. Tomczak with the ball throwing outside. Inside the 30-yard line, it's tight end John Frank. Hedgeman made the tackle. When people around the Big Ten talk about John Frank, they talk in awesome terms. They talk of a man who might be the best tight end in the country, they say. I wouldn't bet against that, Lindsey. We saw him catch a, catch a pass last week against Oklahoma and ran over two guys to get an 8 to 10 yard touchdown reception. He's a real competitor. Penalty marker on the last play and a timeout has been taken here by Ohio State and here is a Big Ten score. It is Michigan 32, Wisconsin 14. Keep in mind that Brenton Arrow will have all the scores of other games around the country highlights as well at halftime. That is the referee Jerry Hendrickson over. He is telling Ohio State they have only one timeout left. There is Byers along the sideline. Players resume. The clock will start on the snap with 59 seconds left in the half. Third down and three at the 28. The Buckeyes of Ohio State now. Back in their huddle, Earl Bruce doing a little pacing along the sideline. They're going to want to get about another 10 yards if they can because of the wind down there. There might be a little turbulent wind floating around those goal posts. So they're going to want to get in there another oh, 10 to 15 yards closer to the field goal kicker. They would be kicking into the wind. You're so right. Quick pitch to Lindsay, and Lindsay is cut off. He did not get the first down. Strobel made the tackle along with Paul Hufford. Paul Hufford from Mount Vernon. Iowa had such a great game last week against Penn State and now once again Ohio State spends a timeout that's their last one that's their last timeout ball is at the 27 yard line where it'll be fourth down and two yards to go that play surprised me a little bit Lindsay they've been so successful running from tackle to tackle inside all day against Iowa and with a third and two situation they try to sweep outside they got excellent support from the Iowa secondary and they shut it down the report now from the sideline that Byers' injury is only a bruised knee. Only a bruised knee and nothing more serious. And there is Byers right there. Put some ice on that to keep the swelling down and uh, they'll take a look at it at halftime and see what kind of dexterity he has. And if it looks favorable, they'll bring him out. If there's any question, they won't play him. Earl and, and Mike Tomzak talking over what they're going to do. Tomzak coming back now toward the huddle. Fourth down and two yards to go at the 27. If they make it, if they make the first down here and it's on the ground, what they'll do most likely is to throw a quick pass and stop the clock. 46 seconds on the clock and they're going to go for it here. They would be kicking into the wind. 
Tom Zach. And it's intercepted at the 20-yard line by Yakulo. Mike Yakulo intercepted. Hayden Fry says, hooray for Hollywood or the Hawkeyes or whoever. And it's first and 10 at the 20-yard line. Strange play. Strange play. He threw that ball. Yakulo was sitting right there. He dropped back right. Number 39, there he is. Got his read, got into his area, and just plucked that ball right out of the air. Tom Jack's looking for 22. Anderson, he lets it go. There's Yakulo sitting right there in his line of vision. Nice job. Very nice job by Mike Yakulo. Probably saved three points. College football, of course, the clock stopped on the change of possession, so it's 41 seconds. Clock starts on the snap first and 10 at the 20-yard line. Chuck Long. And he completes it out to the 35-yard line to Ronnie Harmon. Ronnie Harmon at the 35, first and 10. 15-yard pickup on the play. Well, Hayden's going for it, Lindsey. He's not going to sit on it. He's going to try and get down there and get uh, or somewhere around that 30-yard line. Try for a field goal. 35 seconds. Clock is running now down to 25 seconds. Chuck Long brings him up. Long throws up the middle, and it is completed across the 40-45. Mike Hufford, he is across the 50 and down to the 48-yard line. Clock is stopped now with 15 seconds left to play in the half. It's a first down. It'll be first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And a timeout here turns to Iowa. 17-yard pickup on that last play. That is their first timeout. They have two more. So the clock will start on the snap at 15 seconds. There is the kicker, kicker Tom Nichol. His long this year, or his long in college is 43. His long in high school is 54. Going back to an outside double zone by Ohio State, which means the middle is wide open. Hufford comes down there, settles right into the seam, gets in behind Tatum, drops it off. He keeps it right down the middle of the field. Good job by Hufford. He doesn't try to go right or go left. He wants to keep that ball right in the center of the field. Roland Tatum made the tackle. Busy Hayden Fry along that sideline. Chuck Long going back into the huddle now. Long has just moved ahead of Ed Podolak into fourth place on the Iowa career passing list with 2,334 yards, and Ed Podolak is just down the line several booths from us here as a broadcaster on uh, Iowa radio. Old Kansas City Chiefs player. We had a chance to visit with him before the game. Clock starts on the snap. Chuck Long. Up the middle again, and again is taken by Hufford. They have a holding. A holding penalty. The flag is dropped. And it's at the 45-yard line. The ball is Tatum again made the tackle. Umpires reporting to the referee. Holding is indicated against the Hawkeyes of Iowa. That comes at a very bad time. Very, very bad time. You don't want that kind of penalty in the last 10, 15 seconds of the half or of a ball game when you're driving. That just blows you right out of it. Harmon gets the next play, takes it in from Hayden Fry. Down to the 42-yard line. Holding offense. All right, the Hawkeyes have the ball back at their own 42 now. First down. 25 yards to go. One back set here. Chuck Long. Over Harmon's head, so it'll be second and 25, and the clock says four seconds left. Ohio State is leading by a score of seven to three. Iowa has the ball with four seconds left. They have it second and 25 at their own 42-yard line. Hayden does not look entirely happy. Getting Bill Happel ready. Earl Bruce, head coach of Ohio State. Clock starts on the snap with four seconds. Chuck Long. Time has run out. Long simply heads for the sideline. Couldn't find anybody open. 
so he decided to let it go. Crazy what's happened in this first half, though, is Iowa has not been able to establish on the ground or in the air any consistency. Ohio State, on the other hand, has been able to run the ball and seemingly run the ball at their back. 7-3 to three the score. You saw Earl Bruce across the way, and that is Hayden Fry. The opposing coaches in this Big Ten contest, the first conference game of the year for each of these teams. Hayden Fry trying to get him pumped up. He's done a great job of turning around the football program at the University of Iowa. Lindsay, do you think uh, Coach Earl Bruce, as we see right now, and Hayden Fry did a little what we call chewing at halftime? Shouldn't be at all surprised. I think they got across their messages. All is being teed up on the 40-yard line. And Ralph will kick it off. John Ralph with the kickoff man, and there he is. Now Ohio State is deploying to receive it. Lindsay is going deep. And Roman Bates is back there as well. Lindsay and Roman Bates are the deep men for Ohio State. See Belk that he's kicking uh, shoe adjusted. Well, he got it pretty well. It was almost into the new stands, but it's a touchback first and ten at the 20-yard line. They put 6,000 new seats up at that end this year. We were watching him when they came out early be in, before the game and warmed up kicking, and Relk was kicking off. And Lindsay and I were talking about hopefully we get the chance to see him kick that ball off, and he just did. He put it in row six of the new additions up there. The word is that Keith Byers will not be back for Ohio State for the second half, so we have Kelvin Lindsay starting at the tailback. Anderson in motion across. That's Lindsay. He got two yards out to the 22. It'll be second down and eight yards to go. Now he has changed shoes. The kicker has changed shoes now, and he's back to his regulars. That's what they are. Whatever they are, they're big, Lindsay. They're very <laughs> large. Mike Tomczak is, of course, the quarterback. Motion across, Anderson. Tomczak. Incomplete up at the 39-yard line. Intended for Thad Jemison. Third down and eight yards to go at the 22 for Ohio State. He had Jemison on that turn in, but he just threw the ball a little bit low. Florida defeated Mississippi State by a score of 35 to 12. And Iowa State defeated Colorado State 21 to 17. is 6 for 14, 58 yards and one interception for the day. Jemison is coming wide right. Sending Anderson back across to a wide left. They were a little mixed up on the set before this third down play. Tomczak. And he gets rid of it. He grounded it. He grounded it. Hanging on was Howard Peterson. And it's being marked. It's being marked. Back there at the 13-yard line. As he's being down back there. He was in the grasp and control of Peterson and is down. He's going to drop back and roll slightly out to his right when he feels the pressure. Here comes the pressure. There's that knee right now. Now it's down. Good call by the officials. Smith is deep to receive the punt of Carl Edwards. Edwards kicking from his own end zone. Plenty of time. 49-yard line, 50 Smith falls on the ball right near the 50-yard line. Thomas Johnson was down there as the defender for Ohio State covering 37-yard punt with no return. So now the Hawkeyes are trailing in the ball game by four points. They get the ball first and 10 at the Ohio State 49-yard line. Kansas is leading Southern Cal by a score of 13 to three in the second quarter. Wide receivers left and right. Chuck Long rolling. Side flips the tackle. Throws incomplete at the 41-yard line to Mike Hufford. 
Kurt Curtis was the man putting all the pressure on the passer. He's got Huffer here. Huffer will come out late, run a little basic square out pattern. Long has him, but throws a ball slightly behind him. Let's check it. There it is, right there. Slight. See, he's got to stop and try and come back for it. Makes a good effort, but he should have come up with the ball. It's a difficult catch, but he should have had it. Second down and 10 yards to go. Jeff Commando and I formation. Give it to the up back. Taking it by Granger. And the fullback, Ramble. The young man from Brooklyn, New York, goes to the 34 yard line before Kelvin Bell brings him down. It is a first and 10 for the Hawkeyes. That brings the crowd alive here at Kinnick Stadium. 16 yard pickup. Here's our man Granger again. You don't hear about him too often during the course of a football game. Here's a big play right here. Nice move. Watch right here. Comes right back. Uses his blocker well. He's going to get everything he can. He's going to cover that ball up right in there and get everything he can. Good job by Norm Granger, the fullback. He is for the second consecutive year a co-captain of the Hawkeyes. Long. Takes it inside the 20. Taken by Hufford. Mike Hufford. And he's hit by Sean Gale. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Long's using Hufford like Tom Zack uses uh, Frank. Drops back, he's looking for him. He's staying with him, letting him get open. Then he delivers a ball. Nice catch by Hufford. Looks at the ball all the way in. Looks at the point of that ball all the way in and covers up. He's Excellent got, job. He's got four for 57. Hufford has. This is Eddie Phillips. He got to the 16 for two. It'll be second down and eight yards to go. Spencer Nelms, the nose guard, made the tackle. The Hawkeyes are driving, trailing by four points in the game with Ohio State out in front, 7-3. Can you feel it, Lindsay? Can you feel it start to happen? The team's coming out. They've got the ball. They've got momentum going. The crowd's starting to get with them. You can tell like something's going to bust here for Iowa. Going up there in an eye formation. Granger is the fullback. Phillips is the tailback. Long has the ball. End zone. Touchdown, Hufford. Mike Hufford, touchdown. will attempt the conversion. The Hawkeyes have taken the lead. Nichols' kick is good. And so the Hawkeyes have gone out in front 10-7. It's a great job here by quarterback Chuck Long. Ohio State's going into a two-deep rotation. He stays with his tight end, Hufford, all the way. Here we go. Great job of looking in by Hufford. There's a touchdown, and boy, is he going to be a happy guy when he gets back to that bench. Chevrolet's new celebrity. Move into the comfort of more passenger room than 98 out of 101 imports. Move into celebrity and the traction of front drive. Try to find any other front drive automobile that gives you more passenger room for less. And you. Taking charge. This is the place for the real taste of beer. right here in this bottle. You can't find better than Pabst. Pabst is the place. Your good friends all around you for the real taste of beer. And all the good times you have here. The thing is, Pabst doesn't change. It's always good. For the real taste of beer, Pabst is the place. Tonight, the game that could make or break the season for Jerry Faust fighting Irish. It's Notre Dame against Miami from the Orange Bowl tonight on CBS Sports. John Ralph will kick it off now for Iowa. Last time, he almost put it in the stands. He's kicking with the wind to his back. Deep are Bates and Lindsey. Hawkeyes move 50 yards in five plays, 1 minute 36 seconds. Lindsey 
Let's it go across the end line. It'll be first and ten at the 20 for the Buckeyes of Ohio State. You may see Tom Zach now come out and start to throw. He's the leading passer in the country, and this is what the, the situation warrants it right now. He's got to start coming out and leave those Buckeyes down to score. This crowd is really alive here now. You've got to give credit, Lindsay, to the Iowa offense on that last drive. It was, it was superb. It was managed well. A key plays by Hufford to tie it in. Great direction by Long, the quarterback. It was an excellent show of offensivemanship. Now Mike Tomczak brings the Buckeyes up. Anderson across. Rod Maxson, his first carry of the day. First time today that the fullback has carried the ball. He's been playing sort of a guard position, and he's moved it for two yards. Peterson, Hufford, Little, all converged to stop the 252-pound fullback. There he is, Rodnack. He's a horse. Was he a big one? He shouldn't have 38. He should have a 50 or a 60 number on him. That guy is that big. He'd have three digits. He's plenty of room. Second down and eight yards to go at the 22. Again, a three, and so it's going to be third down and five yards to go. Mike Akula came in to make the tackle. Keep in mind that Keith Byers is out with that knee that was injured in the first half. He was the running star of the first half of this ball game. Lindsey comes back into the ball game. Anderson comes out of the hole to a wide left. Jimerson comes to a wide right. Right next to fullback. Lindsey the tailback. Lindsay, first down, and out to the 33-yard line. Mike Stoops came up to make the tackle. He's from Youngstown, Ohio. Watch, watch Tony Wank at number 92 on this play. He gets caught between the rock and the hard spot. Here he comes, in, up inside. Lindsay breaks up inside. Good move. Good pursuit by Iowa. A good hit there. It's a good all-around offensive run, and good pursuit by the Iowa defense. Where it is that Keith Hunter, the cornerback on the left side for Iowa, is out for the afternoon with an injury. Keith Hunter, gone for the day, we are told. First and ten at the 33. Contact. Goes back to Anderson. Completed the 44-yard line. Cedric Anderson, first and ten. Ken Smith. Uh, Ken Sims made the tackle. That's a great call by the offensive coordinator because Hunter goes out, Sims is in there at the cornerback, and the first thing they do, they come right away and they work on him right off the bat. Good job by the coordination of Ohio State. So the Buckeyes move it steadily. They're trailing in the ballgame by three points. Missouri defeated Utah State 17 to, or whatever it was. Oklahoma defeated Clemson 28 to 18. Flip the backs. Tomzak runs the option. Well, he got a yard, but Larry Station got there. He's a fine linebacker, and so did George Little. It'll be second down and nine yards to go. Kinnick Stadium on the campus at the University of Iowa, named for Niall Kinnick, the great star who won the Heisman Trophy in 1939 for that great Iowa team. That was coached by Dr. Eddie Anderson, a Notre Damer. Backfield coach was Frank Caridio, also a Notre Damer. Kinnick was injured during, or rather was killed during World War II. Second down, nine yards to go at the 45-yard line. That's Frank. Big tight end, and he's still going. He leaves bodies thrown all over the turf where he goes. He may come back and look you up. Got it down to the 32-yard line. Devon Mitchell and Mike Stoop finally brought him down. Same play that he scored on last week against Oklahoma. He'll come right across there at the bottom. See him working his way across. Tom Zach sets, waits for him to clear, catches the ball, and he'll turn up field right now. He's looking for somebody to hit. He wants to hit 21. He wants to hit him. Boom! Give him a little move and try and get out of bounds. Very tough. Very tough individual. Devon Mitchell kept rolling with him, edging him over toward the sideline. Marker first down, 10 yards to go at the 32. Buckeyes are driving. Up the middle they go with Brodnax carrying for the second time today. He got to the 28 for four. It'll be second down and six yards to go. Howard Peterson from Bethesda came and makes the tackle. 
to go back to Frank a minute, Lindsay. The Iowa defensive coaches, they are afraid of letting him get out. They are going to have to take their linebackers and as Frank works his way across field, stop him or chuck him or pop him good to keep him from getting out there. Frank is a big play receiver for Tom Zach. Peterson, by the way, is from Buttendorf, Iowa. Second down, six yards to go. Tom Zach looking to go long and he goes long and Anderson can't get it incomplete in the end zone. It was Ken Sims back there. Devon Mitchell also back there, and Mitchell is still down. Mitchell is still down in the end zone. Sims gets some help here from Devon Mitchell. Here comes, you can see Mitchell coming in to help out. Looks like it's going to get picked off. It's a simple post pattern. Anderson runs a simple post pattern. He beats Sims, but he gets a lot of help from Devon Mitchell. Tom Tuck is 8 for 17, 93 yards, and one interception for the day. Ron Mitchell started today at free safety. He is from Brooklyn, New York. Still in high. That's Tom Zach. It'll be third and six at the 28. Eight minutes, 43 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter. Iowa is leading Ohio State 10 to 7. Devon Mitchell is being assisted off the field. That is he. That is Holly. Yep, number 19. Third down play coming here. The crowd's aware of that. Anderson across in motion. Time back. There's tight end overthrow, and that's Frank. So that brings up a fourth and six at the 28 yard line. Holly covering defensively. Earl Bruce, Ohio State coach. Domzak looks toward the sideline. That's Frank coming back to the huddle. They did. They put their flanker in motion, brought him across to bring the coverage over here to the south side of the field here, and then had Frank in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Ron Holly. Unfortunately, it was a little, little bit overthrown. Tomzak threw it a little bit over Hall, or, uh, Frank's head. Bruce has sent in the next play with Lindsey. Delvin Lindsey is the tailback. Fourth down, six yards to go. Ohio State at the Iowa 28. A key play in the ball game. Tom Zach. It's batted incomplete at the line of scrimmage. Ball goes over. First and 10 at the 28 for Iowa. George Little. Got his hand on the ball. George Little. Upward was there as well. And so Iowa is leading by a score of 10 to 7, and the Hawkeyes get the ball here in the third quarter. Eleven oh five p.m. The Hospital for Special Surgery, New York. And where are the surgeons? Watching television. Not just any television. A Sony with a remarkable Trinitron system for a picture that's critically focused, critically lifelike. Maybe that's why Sony won an Emmy for its picture. Something no other TV could have done. Not if their life depended on it. I'd like to keep that great GM feeling, Mr. Goodwrench, but how am I supposed to know when to do what? Just watch your 75s. 75s? Here, to help you keep that great GM feeling, your GM maintenance schedule calls for a checkup every 7,500 miles. Looks complicated, Mr. Goodwrench. It isn't. All you have to do is watch the top of the charts and your odometer. We take care of the rest. Keep that great GM feeling. Mr. Goodwrench makes it easy. With genuine GM parts. The Big Ten Conference has been a national leader in the selection of academic All-American football teams. A total of 14 Big Ten players has been selected to this prestigious scholar-athlete team the last three years, more than any other conference in the country. At Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, Iowa, we have 8 minutes, 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Iowa leading Ohio State 10 to 7. I'm Lindsey Nelson with Jack Snow, exciting college football on CBS. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Iowa with the ball in their own territory. Chuck Long is the quarterback, and he has the football. Short drop. That's as it complete. Out in the left flat, taken by Ronnie Harmon. He was popped immediately at the 35-yard line. Gain of seven. Sean Gale made the hit. Second down and three yards to go. It's your hitch pass, Lindsey. Ronnie Harmon comes down the field about six yards or so. 
stops, catches the ball. Watch him right here at the lower part of your screen. He'll come down here about six, seven yards, stop, look right back for the ball. Good, good timing pass. That's all it is. You want it's a good first down ball control pass. He's caught three for 34. Ronnie Harmon has. Wide receivers left and right, running backs in an eye formation for Chuck Long. Contact made up the line of scrimmage. You saw Spencer Nell with the nose guard move. Why did anybody in the offensive line move? I think Spencer just got caught, Lindsay. He started moving. That's yes. right. That is right. That will be enough for a first down. Good ball, procedure, defense, first down. It was Nelms who made the contact. Nelms and Joel Hilgenberg have been having a battle there all afternoon. The ball is at the 40-yard line of Iowa. I'm rolling and looking and throwing, and it is... Taken intercepted at the 47 yard line by Garcia Lane. Garcia Lane of Ohio State intercepted, and the Buckeyes get it in Iowa territory. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. And Long has been shaken up. He has been described as imperturbable and unflappable, but he got a pretty good pop that time. He's got a big frame, 6'4, 210 pounds. There's a lot to hit there. What he tries to do to Ronnie Harmon, number 31, is just run up an out pattern, 10, 14 yards down the field and out. Garcia Lane is in perfect position. It's a bad pass. It's overthrown. There's Lane right there. Catches it. Keeps both feet in bounds. You know people like us. We're teachers. Firemen. People just like you. These are the uniforms we wear at work. But these are the uniforms we wear when we serve part-time in the Reserves and the National Guard. You see, in the Reserves and the Guard, you not only serve your country, you're part of a first-rate team training alongside real buddies. Yet while you serve, you can live at home and keep your full-time job. Because in the Reserves and the Guard, you don't have to give up one life to live another. The Reserves and the National Guard. Talk to your local recruiter. Seguin, Texas and Milwaukee both mean something great to these guys. Seguin means barbecue at its biggest and best. And Milwaukee means beer. Cold, crisp, old Milwaukee beer. And smooth, golden, old Milwaukee light. And old Milwaukee. And old Milwaukee light. Tastes as great as their name. You know, it doesn't get any better than this. Next Saturday, a national title will be at stake when they play the singles final of the U.S. Women's Indoor Tennis Championship. Next Saturday on CBS Sports. The Buckeyes of Ohio State have the ball now. They trail by three points, 741 to play in the third quarter. Iowa leading 10-7, first and 10 for Ohio State on the Iowa 47-yard line. I'm Jack, the quarterback. Anderson in motion across, number 22. Lindsey, the tailback, tries to cut back. Back to the 44. Let's take a look at this. Two things important about this. Garcia Lane has got outside position on Harmon. That's the key to the interception, plus the fact that it's overthrown. Here he is, outside position, carries him to the ball. That's Chuck Long's first interception of the season. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Bates is in there, tailback now. Second down, seven yards to go at the 44-yard line. Rodnax, of course, still the blocking fullback. On tack. Well, he made one. He shed a tackle. And threw for an interception at the 40-yard line. It's Stoops. Mike Stoops returns it. First and 10 for Iowa at the Iowa 47. They get it back. It was George Little who was rushing Tom Zack. Turnabout's fair play, Lindsay. Ohio State gets one. Now Iowa comes back and gets one. Maybe the two biggest plays of the game at this point. Pick up Stoops. There's the rush on him. There's Little right there. Tom Jack just turns around and fires. He maybe should have looked for his receiver a little bit longer. He threw it right into Stoops. Good coverage on the receiver by Stoops. Big, big play. Iowa first and ten. Chuck Long quarterbacking. Short drop. Looks. Looks. Now has to fade and look some more. Hopes his receivers are moving. And now he completes the pass up to the 50-yard line. 
taken by Jonathan Hayes. Now for the NCAA Today report, let's go to Brent Musburger in New York. Lindsay, the unbeaten Kentucky Wildcats have taken charge against Tulane. Here comes Curtis Cochran. He bolts for this touchdown, and now it is 17-7 for Kentucky. They're trying to be 4 0. Back to Lindsay. All right, Brent. Here, Iowa has the football second down and seven yards to go. Just short of the 50 yard line. Give it to the tailback, Phillips. He got about a yard across to the 49 yard line, where it's going to be third down and six yards to go. Clark Backus and Kurt Curtis made the tackle for the Iowa Hawkeyes. The name Hawkeye applied, of course, to all the athletic teams of the university. Earl Bruce a little concerned and getting in uh, a little walking time along that sideline. His Ohio State team came into this game ranked number three in the nation today, and the University of Iowa came in ranked number seven in the nation. Third down. Circus catch first intended the 22 yard line for Iowa. Now they try the little reverse play and it's taken there by Eddie Phillips. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty Orlando Lowry in to make the tackle and a loss on the play. The Ohio State defense was ready. Spotted out there to 29. Look at him off his fingertips. He's staying with it. Look at his helmets. Trying to, where is that ball? There it is. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I got it. Now I've got it for sure. Big play for Iowa. Great big play by Ronnie Harmon. And Richardson all over his back. Second down at 17 yards to go now. Iowa at the 29-yard line of Ohio State. Four minutes, 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Iowa leading by a score of 10-7. Well, again, it was Phillips, and again, the Ohio State defense popped him for a loss. Loss of one. It's going to be third and 18, and it was Hudson Elms. Made that tackle. Elms having a good day so far, Lindsey. He, fortunately for Ohio State and unfortunately for Iowa, he was slanting that way, and he ran to his side the way he was slanting. The back tried to come back inside, and there was Spencer Elms, all 6'3", 240 pounds of him. Bill Brohammer is brought in the next play, so let's see what Hayden Fry has been able to dream up here for a third down. And 18 yards to go with the ball at the 30-yard line of Ohio State with Iowa leading 10-7. Chuck Long waiting for the snap. He got it. And it's incomplete and almost intercepted. It is Sean Gale, number two, intended for Jonathan Hayes, and that'll bring up a fourth down and 18. That's the 30-yard line. That's the man he had to go to, Lindsay. He's got to go to Hayes because Hayes on the field is the only one who was in a one-in-one -one situation. They played zone defense down here to the strong side or the two receiver side. They had them shut down. Long came off like he should have and tried to go back. Tom Nicholas coming to attempt the field goal. This will be a 47-yard attempt. His longest ever in college is 43, but in high school he had a 54. He has the wind at his back. Tom Nichol attempting a 47. Nickel boots. It's good. His longest ever in college, 47 yards. Three more points for the Hawkeyes. They lead 13 to 7. We have now three minutes, 34 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Iowa leads by six. Chevy Tough is taking charge with a big USA One truck sellathon. We're out to sell 75,000 trucks by October 1st with 200,000 trucks from coast to coast. This is dealing time. And year-end allowances on 83s can mean great clearance prices. Get specially equipped Chevy S10 pickups and maxi cabs with V6 engine at no extra cost. Or buy specially equipped full-size pickups with automatic transmission or air conditioning at no extra cost. USA One sellathon at your Chevy dealers now. 
In our first 25 years in space, we have explored the edges of our solar system. We have probed for life on other planets. We have touched the face of the moon. Imagine what we can do in our next 25 years. Tomorrow is taking shape at a company called TRW. The Hawkeyes lead by six. They're happy at Kinnick Stadium. Ralph will kick it off, although the wind has just blown the ball off the tee and he'll have to tee it up again. There's Herky the Hog. He was hatched here in 1948 as the mascot. Very important, Deep, on that, excuse me, Lindsay, on that last series. Very important that the that the Iowa Hawkeyes came away with something. Not a touchdown, but they got a field goal. So they lead by six. There's the special shoe for Ralph. Lindsay and Bates are deep. Bates is waiting at the two-yard line. Bates to the five, to the ten, to the fifteen, to the twenty, and to the twenty-two-yard line. Bates is stopped there. Near the conclusion of today's CBS Sports NCAA football broadcast, Jack Snow and I will be selecting a Chevrolet MVP from each of the teams. Chevrolet donates a $1,000 scholarship to the General Scholarship Fund of each school. The MVPs receive certificates from Chevrolet acknowledging their outstanding performances. First down at 10 yards to go at the 22-yard line. The Buckeyes in possession. Tom Zach, the quarterback. Rodnax, the fullback. Lindsay, the tailback's got the ball out to the 25. Picked up three second down at seven yards to go. Yakulo made the tackle from his linebacker spot. Ohio State's going to want to keep the ball now. Lindsay. They're going to want to try and keep it and run out the court and get themselves in good field position. Lindsay's carried 12 times to 35 yards. There's the last possession. That's five possessions, brother, of Ohio State. Zach keeps the ball, trying to stretch his body out to get up to first down yardage, but he didn't get it. Wankett made the tackle. It's at the 30, so it'll be third down and two yards to go for the Buckeyes. In drawing up their defensive plan for this game, Iowa thought that what they had to do was to force the Buckeyes to go a long way for their scores, that they couldn't give up the quick ones, the long pass, the quick, easy one, that they had to make them eat up a lot of time. And Keep that offense out there on the field. Well, certainly they've done that. Third down conversion, four of 11. Lindsey needs two yards, and he's got that first and 10 for Ohio State. Out to the 34-yard line, Gakulo made the tackle. Iowa's got to make them drive here. They're not going to give up anything in a hurry. They're going to try and keep out of getting the big play by Ohio State. If they're going to score a touchdown or a field goal, they're going to want to make them drive 70, 80 yards, 65 yards, somewhere in that area, use up a lot of time off the clock, and spend a lot of time out there on the field. Speaking of the clock, we have 1 minute 56 seconds left to play in the third quarter. This is the first down and 10 yards to go at the 34-yard line. I'm Zach. Goes it complete. Taken by John Frank, the big tight end, but he was popped by Mike Stoops. Stoops made the hit immediately. Got him out there at the 38-yard line, so they picked up four yards on the completed pass to the tight end on a crossing pattern. Here comes Tom Zach going back. He gets stuck real well here. He waits for him to clear, lays it up there. Now watch Stoops pop it right, bam, right there. Boy, does he deliver a blow. But you can't take it away from Frank. He's a tough one. Kelvin Lindsay's back in there, tailback. There's Stoops, the man who made the last tackle. It is second on six yards to go at the 38. Passing yardage, Ohio State 97, Iowa 165 up to this point. Lindsay with the ball. Lots of folks there. Cuts back. Tripped up and goes down at the 42-yard line. Paul Hufford. Credits it with the tackle. Again, a four. It's going to be third down and about two yards to go. Less than a minute remaining to be played in the third quarter. Iowa leading by a score of 13 to 7. To me, it looked like student body left. He pulled out and was heading around with the entire Ohio State offensive line to his left. He wanted to continue to go, but he couldn't because number 77, George Little from the Iowa Hawkeyes, put the outside pressure on, made him cut back, and in so doing, he almost popped it, but he went down. Bates is back in there now as the tailback. Rodnax, 
looking for the two, and the big man, 252-pounder, got it with that second thrust. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Station made the stop along with Howard Peterson. And anybody else in the neighborhood? These are the games, Lindsay, when those defensive secondary people, they go up to their linebackers and to their down linemen, and they say, look, let's hold Broad next. If he doesn't get any yardage, I'll take you all out to dinner. <laughs> they don't want to get in a one-on-one -on -one situation and have to tackle that big horse in the secondary, believe me. Clock is running with eight seconds remaining in the third quarter. Bombsack brings him up. Anderson in motion across. Broadnax again, and he gets it over to the 50-yard line. Picked up about three, where it'll be second and seven. Time has run out in the period. That's the end of the third quarter. Our score is Iowa 13, Ohio State 7. Ohio State at Iowa is an exclusive presentation of CBS Sports. We'll be back with fourth quarter action after this message and a word from your local station. I was on the road with three more sales calls to make. And it sure was a bad time for my muffler to go out. My old muffler was from Midas. So I found a Midas shop in the next town and showed them my guarantee. I'm in kind of a hurry. They honored it with no hassle and got the job done fast. When you count on your car like I do, it's great to be able to count on Midas. Just a Midas touch. 30. Every six months, American Airlines pilots fly thousands of miles. Yeah, let's try it in daylight. Without ever leaving this room. A flight simulator at the American Airlines Flight Academy. Captain Jim Roberts has been with American 18 years, but he still comes back here twice a year. We taught Captain Roberts a lot, but some things we didn't have to teach him. Hi. This is CBS. At Farm Bureau, we think insurance should give you a good feeling. Like the feeling you get when people you love get something they really want with your help. So wouldn't now be a good time to see your Farm Bureau agent to make sure some of the things you want to happen in the future can, even if you can't be there. You've gone ahead with Farm Bureau. Thanks, Dad. To make this another great. I want a car that handles well. I want to be able to do what I want, when I want. You can't just combine front-wheel drive and a new independent rear suspension and know how it's going to feel to drive. You plan, then you drive. And you make changes and you drive again until it works. That's how we got to Topaz. After a million miles of testing, Mercury proudly presents the 1984 Topaz, a more enlightened approach. Quarter to go, Iowa leading Ohio State 13 to 7 at Kinnick Stadium. This is Lindsey Nelson with Jack Snow. Second down, seven yards to go for the Buckeyes of Ohio State at the 50 yard line. It says Anderson carrying it. Anderson on a comebacker and spill for a loss all the way back to the 46 yard line. A loss of four, it'll be third and 11. It was Mike Hooks who made the tackle. Incidentally, Dave Strobel, who normally plays that linebacker spot, has not been in action in this half for Iowa. Heads up play by Hooks. And your very heads up play by 91 Mike Hooks. Kansas still leading Southern Cal. Auburn defeated Tennessee. West Virginia beat Boston College. Third quarter stats. First downs. Ohio State 15. Iowa 13. Rushing yardage. Ohio State 164. Iowa 73. Contact. Back to pass. Up the middle. Completes it. Across the 50. It'll be marked at the 48 yard line. It was to Bates. He was smothered. Yakula got to him first. It'll be at the 48-yard line. And we'll make it fourth down, and the punting unit comes on fourth and five. Carl Edwards in the punt. The Iowa defense is coming alive now. They have this whole second half. They're getting a little more confidence. They're playing with a little more reckless abandon. They're doing a much, much better job. Ronnie Harmon is the deep man on the 10 to receive it for Iowa. Ronnie Harmon is back there, not Smith. Edwards, the left footer, booms it out. Harmon moves over, lets it go, and what kind of a roll? Touchback. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Right at the flag, but he got into the end zone first, so it's first and 10 at the 20-yard line. And the Hawkeyes 
of the University of Iowa have the football. In case you wonder what a Hawkeye is, the term was first used in a novel by James Fenimore Cooper called The Last of the Mohicans. He was a scout, and 12 years after that novel appeared, the name was applied to all the citizens of the territory of Iowa. Now it's applied to all the athletic teams at the University of Iowa and the state as well. Illinois beating Michigan State. Northwestern beat Indiana 10-8. to Texas Tech over Baylor. Hayden Fry played quarterback at Baylor in his undergraduate days. Tom Granger. Granger just out to the 21-yard line for one. It'll be second down and nine yards to go. George Welch with another victory over North Carolina State. Former Navy star, Welch. Earl Bruce, head coach at Ohio State along that sideline. Clemson beat Georgia Tech. Lake Forest over Richmond. Syracuse over Rutgers. And Oklahoma State over Texas A&M. Jackie Sherrod, well, that's in the third quarter. It's not over yet. Iowa State did beat Colorado State. Owen Gill's the tailback now and for this series. All day long. It gets it out to Owen Gill. I think he got the first down. I think he got across the 30-yard line, which is all he had to do. He did. Owen Gill, no relation to Nebraska's Turner Gill. Big first down, Lindsey. Very big first down. The ball control type pass. He wants to go to Merritt's on the right. He checks him out. He can't find him open. He just a routine check down right here to number 33. Owen Gill fights for the first down. It's a big first down, big play. The Hawkeyes of the University of Iowa leading by a score of 13 to 7. They have the ball first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. We have 12 minutes and 22 seconds left to play in this game. That's deflected, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go at the 30-yard line. Vasilius is the man who got a hand up to deflect it. And in case you wonder what's riding on this ball game, just keep in mind the fact that in the last 16 meetings of these teams, Ohio State has won every time. Iowa has not defeated Ohio State since 1962, and that's a period of 21 years. That's what's riding on this ball game, and Iowa is out in front by a score of 13 to 7. Harmon coming out to a wide right. What a gay he's had here this afternoon. Ronnie Harmon, a man of many talents. Second down and 10 at the 30-yard line. Loosen up the running backs. Move Gill over a stride. Long now. Up the middle. And completes it. Got it out there to Moritz. Dave Moritz. First reception, I think, of the day for Moritz. Good for 24 yards on a first down at the 46-yard line. It's a great job by Moritz and Chuck Long. Moritz is fighting through that secondary. This is his first catch of the day. He's running a deep score. This is a great pass. Long lays it in. Good job concentrating by Moritz. Covers up. Takes the blow. Great pass by Chuck Long. Kelvin Bell made the tackle. Long is 14 of 22, 198 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Here's this one to Owen Gill. He is stopped by Byron Lee. And he gets the ball one yard to the 45-yard line. Connecticut 38, Yale 12. BYU beat the Air Force. Second down, nine yards to go. Iowa's ball at the Ohio State, 45. Chuck Long. Chuck Long. Coming. 40. Hit high over there at about the 37-yard line by Richardson. Kevin Richardson. Of course, he was trying to get to the six. He was trying to get to the first down. He's faster than he looks. He sets up. He wants to throw. He gets an outside rush from 82. Ducks inside. Gets away from him. He's pretty quick. He's pretty quick. He does get the first down. Heads up play by Chuck Long. Now, let me get to the outside. 21's going to hit him. Uh, that's, that's a fair shot. He's in the field of play. Anytime you get a shot at a quarterback in the field of play, those defensive backs are going to take it. First and 10 by Iowa. They have the ball at the Ohio State 
36 yard line. Harmon's coming back into the huddle with the next play. Fans are beginning to warm to this circumstance now. 11 minutes, two seconds remaining to be played in the game. Hayden Fries, Iowa Hawkeyes 13. Earl Bruce is Ohio State Buckeyes 7. Race down at 10 yards to go at the 36 yard line. To the tailback, Owen Gill. Gets one yard and one yard only against that Buckeye defense. Benson Elms in to make the tackle. Iowa wants to come away with something here. They want to get at least a field goal, which would put them up 16 to 7, put them up nine points. Ohio State wants to hold them. They don't want to let them have a first down because if they do, they're just that much closer for the field goal. They definitely don't want to give them a touchdown. Keep in mind one more factor. The field goal attempt for Iowa would be into the win. There would be no aiding win. There would be a resisting win. So they'd have to get it in there a little deeper than ordinary. Second down play coming now for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Running back to split. That's Gill in the left set. Granger in the right set. Long dropping and looking. And it is taken at the 29-yard line by Moritz. And he was wrapped up immediately by Sean Gale. This is an out route over here by Moritz. I thought Gale was going to pick this off. Watch Moritz up the top. Plant, good, gets his head around quick, finds the ball. Good concentration, gets hit immediately. Not a bad job by Sean Gale. I thought he could have come inside and picked that off. He closed pretty pretty rapidly, did a good job. Third down and three yards to go at the 29-yard line, and the Hawkeyes want a timeout. This is critical, crucial, you might say. Iowa has taken a timeout, their first of three. 9.47 left to play in this game. Los Angeles, California, first place. Winner is Chablis, number three. Sacramento, California, Silver Award. Year after year, wine tastings are held across the country. Chicago, Illinois, gold medal. And year after year, one wine continues to appear at the top of the list. Warwick, Rhode Island, first place. The white wine judged best in tasting after tasting. Washington, D.C., first place. The Chablis Blanc of Ernest and Julio Gallo. From Ernest and Julio Gallo, all the best. If you want the agent who gives you good neighbor service on your car, home, life, and health insurance, check with State Farm. I'm State Farm agent Carl Cox. What sets State Farm apart is no secret. It's that good neighbor service State Farm is famous for. With State Farm, you have affordable protection that respects your budget. One agent who can do it all. Life, health, home, and car insurance. And just one number to call for that good neighbor service. Check with State Farm. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Join Brett Musburger, Ara Pazegan, and Pat O'Brien for the full story on game day and college football on the NCAA Today, Saturday on CBS Sports. Last week on the NCAA Today, Ara Pazegan looked at Nebraska's explosive eye formation, which later that day rolled up 84 points against Minnesota. Next week on the NCAA Today, Pazegan will examine the highly touted 5-2 defense utilized by Dick Trump's North Carolina Tar Heels. This story plus a full report on game day and college football next Saturday on the NCAA Today. Check your local listings. Third down, three yards to go for Iowa. Ball at the Ohio State 29. Iowa is leading 13 to 7 in the fourth quarter. Big play here. Chuck Long, the quarterback. Running backs into an eye. Owen Gill is the tailback. Timeout again. Timeout again. That's, that's not good, Lindsay. That's uh, that's not good. They just call one and... He can't uh, do it. You can't call consecutive timeouts in college football, and the penalty flag has been thrown. You cannot do it. You can't call consecutive timeouts with nothing in between. The referee is explaining that to Long threw the flag up, picked it up, and there'll be a penalty marked off against the Hawkeyes. You cannot call consecutive timeouts. Watching him the last time out that they call Long and... His coach were sitting Delay down there talking. Offense, and, uh, you cannot have back-to-back timeouts. That's what we said. You can't have back-to-back timeouts. Puts the ball back there at the 34-yard line. Aiden, that makes it third and eight. Aiden Fry and Long were talking about something at, at uh, the last time out. What happened was Long got off the line of scrimmage, looked over the defense, says this isn't what we had planned on doing, and that's why he tried to call that timeout. So now third and eight at the 35-yard line, 34-yard line. Auction play. He's got the first down. And Long is out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Kelvin Bell ran him out. Chuck Long keeping the ball first and 10 at the 19. 
15-yard pickup for Long. Long gets everything going to his right. Here he stops, comes up the middle of the field and cuts right back to his left. All the defense is pursuing to their left. Wide open. Last line of defense with number four, Kevin Bell to safety. So now with nine minutes, 40 seconds remaining to be played in the game. The Hawkeyes of Iowa are inside the 20-yard line of Ohio State, and Iowa's out in front 13 to 7. Give it to Owen Gill. He gets a yard to the 18-yard line, and that's all he gets against the Buckeyes. It's going to be second down and nine yards to go. Dave Morrill in to make the tackle for Ohio State. Through the years, Ohio State, of course, has been one of the big bastions of college football. There have been many people especially around the state of Ohio, who have claimed for years that the capital of college football was in Columbus, Ohio, and there have been long stretches when it would have been difficult to dispute that. Great football program there. Incidentally, neither Woody Hayes nor Forrest Evershevsky is here this afternoon. Second down, nine yards to go at the 18-yard line. Give it to the fullback. Ranger carrying. Ranger to the 16-yard line for two. Going to make a third down at seven yards to go. Dave Morrill again on the tackle for Ohio State. And we have another of those things. We have a third down. Seven yards to go. Chuck Long looking toward the sideline to get his next play. What do we do here, Coach? Clock is running with eight minutes, 36 seconds left to play in the game. They're going to do, Lindsay, they're going to run that ball up the middle to keep it in the center of the field, or they're going to try and, and throw some type of quick out or slant in so that if it's incomplete, the ball will stay right there. You don't want to run too far right or too far left because you take the direct line out of the space for your kicker. Iowa leads by six points. They figure that three more is what they want at least. Now, penalty marker, that could be a delay. Penalty marker for delay of game. That'll cost them five yards. You must snap it in 25 seconds. A little sloppiness on, on the part of the Hawks right here. That's two. Once five-yard penalty for calling their second timeout, which they can't do in a row. The layup game. All thanks. Third down. And one five-yarder right here. Fourth penalty against Iowa, 25 yards. Third down and 12 yards to go at the 21. Accepted, or is it incomplete? Incomplete it is. Didn't hang on to it. Down at the nine-yard line. So now the kicking unit comes on for Iowa. Tom Nichol in to try. It's a tough play right here. This is a basic slant by number 31, Ronnie Harmon. He's going into double coverage right here. There he is. There's number four, Kevin Bell. Comes right over there. Kelvin Bell should have held on to that ball. That would have been a great, big, big play for Ohio State. 38-yard attempt now for Nichol. Grogan is holding for him. 38-yard attempt for Nichols. Gets it up, and it is no good. It is no good. And the score remains Iowa 13, Ohio State 7. As the ball goes over at the line of scrimmage, which is the 21-yard line to Ohio State. Big miss, big miss. Not long ago, a wine tasting took place aboard the steamship Queen Mary. The wines to be judged were from some of the finest vineyards in France. But as the wines were prepared for the tasting, another wine was secretly included. A wine made by Ernest and Julio Gallo. Did the Gallo wine win? How could it have, in competition with some of the most famous and costly wines in the world? But nevertheless, it did. From Ernest and Julio Gallo, all the best. One company provides cars and trucks to satisfy the wants and needs of virtually every man and woman in the USA. That's today's Chevrolet. One company puts some of the world's most advanced manufacturing and design facilities to work for America. That's today's Chevrolet. America, you're on the move again. And Chevrolet is providing your wheels. And you. 
The American Football Coaches Association endorses ethical recruiting standards and supports the student-athlete search for academic and athletic excellence. Write NCAA Recruiting, Box 1906, Mission, Kansas, 66201, for a free brochure containing the basic rules. At Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, Iowa, Iowa 13, Ohio State 7, 7 minutes, 41 seconds left to play. This is Lindsey Nelson with Jack Snow. Ohio State with the ball now, trailing by six points. First and 10 at their own 21. Lindsey, the tailback carrying Kelvin Lindsey, moves it up to the 24-yard line. Now for an NCAA Today report, let's go to Brent Musburger in New York. Earl Bruce facing the sideline now, knowing that he must move the football. Failing by six points in the fourth quarter, and the pressure is on the defense of the University of Iowa here. Total yards in the second half. Ohio State 81 and Iowa 150. That's the bootleg. Tom Zack kept it. And he got a first and ten, and Tom Zack is out of bounds at the 34-yard line. A naked uh, bootleg, and it was Ken Sims who made the tackle. There's the clock. Iowa's got to be careful here now. They've given Ohio State some momentum by stopping him in, on the last drive and forcing a missed field goal. What that does is that, that fuels the offensive team. They come down and score it. Now it's going to be a different, totally different ball game. First down and 10 yards to go for the Buckeyes. Shadows are lengthening here at Kinnick Stadium where there are no lights. Completed pass up to the 47-yard line. As he crossed the sideline marker, he is incomplete. Incomplete, he was across. Anderson was the receiver. Devon Mitchell, the defender, along with Greer. And it's an incompleted pass. It'll make it second and 10 at the 34. The incompletion stops the clock. Anderson should have caught that ball. He had plenty of room on the sideline. He went up in the air nice and had it hit off his uh, fingertips. Let's take a look at it here. Tom Jack back sets up. Sets up and a quick release. Quick release. There it is. He should have that ball right there. Good stick right there. Good stick by number 29, Nate Career. Ronnie Bates is the tailback now. Tom Zach trying to hit his tight end, John Frank. A little juggling act, but he couldn't control it at the 41 yard line. And now for an NCAA Today report, let's go to Brent Musburger in New York. Lindsey Tulane coach Wally English has benched his son, quarterback John English. And Tulane is suddenly on a roll. Tony Francis takes that pass, and it is now 17-14 Kentucky. Back to Lindsey. Third down and 10 yards to go at the 34-yard line for the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Tom Zack is 10 of 24, under three yards and two interceptions. He wants some quiet. Tom Zack says he can't hear at Kinnick Stadium. Tom Zach's looking and now he's moving and Look out. from behind he's brought down at the 34 yard line which is the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up a fourth down. It was Paul Hufford who had the great game last week against Penn State. Paul Hufford who in high school literally tore up a knee and fought back to become an outstanding collegiate player. Punning in it is coming on now. The defense of Iowa has proven itself on that series of downs. And we have six minutes, five seconds left to play. Carl Edwards will do the punting. Harmon is back, standing at his own 25-yard line. Edwards gets a high snap. Left footer gets it out of there. Harmon is at his own 15-yard line. Harmon now goes right to the 20 and gets to the 23. It'll be marked there before he stops. First down, 10 yards to go for Iowa. They have the ball at their own 23, and they're leading by a score 13 to 7, 51 yard kick. Houseman for the investment firm of Smith Barney. Inflation, taxation, recession, aggression. Is the world going to end tomorrow? 
Probably not. Smith Barney's counseled its clients skillfully through five wars, 26 recessions, and 23 changes in the Oval Office. Smith Barney. They make money the old-fashioned way. They earn it. Tomorrow is an NFL doubleheader day on CBS Sports. In the early game, many of you will see the New Orleans Saints take on the Dallas Cowboys. That's a team they've beaten only once in their history. Then in the doubleheader game, it'll be the Washington Redskins against the Seattle Seahawks or the Rams against the Jets, plus other regional action. It all starts with the NFL today. Check your local listings for the game in your area. We've got a great game in our area because it's first and 10 now. Iowa with the ball at their own 23. And they're leading 13 to 7 with 5 minutes, 41 seconds left to play in the game. Taken by Norman Granger. Vesilius in to make the tackle. Granger moves to the 25 for 2. What Iowa wants to do now, Lindsay, is they want to sit on the ball. They want to take their time. They want to keep moving the ball. You know, they want to pick up a first down, but they want to keep the ball on the ground. Spencer Nelms is down. The nose guard is down for Ohio State. The big man, 242-pounder from Decatur, Georgia. And a very concerned Coach Earl Bruce looking out from the sideline. It's going to hurt Ohio State if Nelms has to go out because he's played one terrific ball game today and they're really going to miss him. His backup is Darrell Lee. We have mentioned that in the last 16 games played between these two teams, Ohio State has won. We haven't mentioned that in the last 10, or rather in 10 of those 16 times, the margin was 20 or more points. Nelms going off. There is Lee. He is in that replace him. Let's watch Granger go up the middle here. There's a lot of traffic in there. Nelms gets caught up right there. You can see the offensive guard. Falling over, number 68, Tim Hanna falls over Spencer Nelm's left leg, or his right leg. Second down and eight for the Hawkeyes. They have the ball at their own 25-yard line. Chuck Long, the quarterback, the young man from Wheaton, Illinois. Eddie Phillips with the ball. The second effort got him out across the line of scrimmage, but he didn't get much because Orlando Lowry was there. In the yard, there is Nelms along the sideline getting attention to the training staff. Maybe his ankle. Looks like it might be his ankle. Oh, I know what it is. What it is, it's, a, it's what they call an astroturf toe. That's what's wrong with it. He hyperextended his toe. Third down, seven yards to go at the 26-yard line. Harmon in motion across. Chuck Long. Tomorrow it's officially 73 yards, officially 73 yards. Nickel is in now with Grogan holding to attempt the conversion. And it's good. The score is Iowa 20 and Ohio State 7. 425 to play. Morris runs a, a deep post pattern. Now this guy's not supposed to have very good speed. Nice move. A little out fake, and there he goes. Around there he gives up. Now, he should be caught here. Gale should have him. Gale's much faster than he is, but he, the little number five, he just doesn't quit. Boy, is he happy. Great, great route. Good hustle, good individual effort. The Hawkeyes are smelling a victory. They lead 20 to 7. Chevy Tough is taking charge. 
with a big USA One truck sellathon. We're up to sell 75,000 trucks by October 1st with 200,000 trucks from coast to coast. This is dealing time. And year-end allowances on 83s can mean great clearance prices. Get specially equipped full-size pickups with automatic transmission or air conditioning at no extra cost. And specially equipped S10 pickups and maxi cabs with V6 engine at no extra cost. USA One sellathon at your Chevy dealers now. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell started a communications revolution. Watson, come here. Watson, 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 Watson. Watson and Watson. Today, there's a new revolution from AT&T Information Systems. Glad you could join us, Mr. Watson. We still on for lunch, Watson? Goodbye for now, Watson. AT&T Information Systems. Tonight, the game that could make or break the season for Jerry Faust fighting Irish. It's Notre Dame against Miami from the Orange Bowl tonight on CBS Sports. Iowa is leading 20 to 7. We have 4 minutes, 25 seconds left to play in the game. Earl Bruce, the coach, talking to Tom Zack, his quarterback along the sideline. Nickel will kick off. Bates and Lindsay are deep. It is taken at the 8-yard line. Lindsay returning. They get it out across the 30. Good return. It'll be spotted about the 33-yard line. Well, this is an exciting college football game, and it's going to be another one tonight at 9 Eastern time at the Orange Bowl in Miami, Notre Dame, and the Miami Hurricanes. It's going to be a great game, Lindsay. It's Jerry Fouts against Howard Schnellenberger. Notre Dame had a very tough week last week. They did all kinds of good things offensively in terms of yardage, but uh, they came up short on the score. So that game tonight and this game right now are part of exciting college football on CBS. First and 10 for Ohio State at their own 33-yard line. Tom Zack, incomplete to Lindsey. Second and 10. Sometimes in a situation like this, you get down to those last four or five minutes and you get to pressing a little too much. Cut it a little too fine here and there. 20 to 7, Iowa leading. Iowa has not defeated Ohio State since 1962. What Tom Zach wants to do now is he wants to move down the field rather quickly, but he doesn't want to try and pick it all up in one big chunk. Let's work his way down, 10, 15 yards a pop. You saw a happy Hayden Fry along that sideline. Short drop for Tom Zach. Penley marker strong. Penley marker strong. It was out there to Jemison. He was hit by Stoops immediately and perhaps before the ball got there. The opinion of the official he was, so it's marked at the 40-yard line. That'll make it a first down. Mike looks a little upset there, Lindsey. Mike Stewart. Defensive pass interference. Automatic first down. Defensive pass interference. Automatic first down. Let's see if we can see if Stoops gets a quick hit in here. Ball's in the air. That's pretty close. I got to go with the officials on that. They've, good call. Pretty close. First and 10 for the Buckeyes at their own 40-yard line. Tom Zach going to run it himself. 45, 50. And Tom Zach gets up to the 46-yard line of Iowa before he stopped by Wankett. 14-yard pickup. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. I'm back again. Incomplete. Trying to get it again to Jemison. Thad Jemison, number 88. It'll be second and 10. The incompletion stops the clock. Three minutes and 54 seconds left to play in this game at Kinnick Stadium on the campus of the University of Iowa in Iowa City. Jemison had him, had him on that one, Lindsay. He had him be what's happened to those Tom Zacks. The adrenaline is starting to flow just a little bit too much. He had him. If you're taking his time, put the ball in there. Let Jemison come in and get it. He overthrew the ball, let him too much and too much in front of him, and it was too low. Tom Zach is 10 of 26, 103 yards and two interceptions. Now the draw play, big opener there for the draw. And so Bates carried it through to the 36-yard line. Station made the tackle. First and 10 for Ohio State. And on the first down in college football, the clock stops, of course. Indicated first and 10. Outside the 36. 3.39 on the clock. Ohio State's ready to go. They don't want to waste any time. 
Clock is running now. Contact. Completes it to the 30-yard line. Wrapped up there by his big tight end, John Frank. He's trying to struggle to get across to the 29-yard line. Queer was the man on the tackle. It's at the 29. Second down, three yards to go. Ohio State at the Iowa 29-yard line. Time's act. Looking deep and throwing incomplete at the 10-yard line. His receiver was Jemison. Jemison down there getting up. Third down and three yards to go at the 29 for Ohio State. 3.05 on the clock. Tom Zach's got to settle down a little bit now. He's, his receivers are getting open. They're finding the seams in the zone of Iowa. Take your time. Drop back, set up Mike, and put the ball in there. Now, don't force it in. Just play pitch and catch. Passing yardage for the day. Ohio State 110, Iowa 276. Third down and three yards to go. Lindsey. Got the first down inside the 20, and he's all the way to the 15-yard line, first and 10. Devon Mitchell brought him down, the young man from Brooklyn. 14-yard scamper for Lindsey, Kelvin Lindsey. The little draw play here coming right out to shoot, right up the gut. And so after Lindsey makes some good moves in there. He stopped there, he bounces outside. Now watch him come downfield, put a move on down here, right there, boom. Lindsey has carried 16 times for 61 yards today. Buckeyes are driving, 2.43 on the clock. Tom Zack. Intended for Jemison incomplete. Greer was covering. It's going to be second and 10 at the 15 yard line. Hayden Fry with instructions along the sideline. Jemison's complaining on that last play that Mike Yakulo was interfering with him. I don't think Mike was interfering with him, but Dad obviously thought that he was. The turnstile count here at Kinnick Stadium today, 66,175, the largest crowd ever to see a game at this stadium. Second down and 10 yards to go at the 15. Clock starts on the snap. It's starting. Tom Zack. Threads the needle inside the five-yard line. There's big tight end John Frank. It'll be marked at the four-yard line. Devon Mitchell made the hit. First and goal at the four. Frank's going to run a turn, and he's going to go down to about the five-yard line, run a little button hook, and look back for Tom Zach. Tom Zach stays all the way with him, catches the ball in his hands nicely. Excellent receiver. has got a very, very soft pair of hands. Frank has caught six for 64 yards. Timeout. Timeout. Ohio State. So with two minutes, 28 seconds remaining to be played in the ballgame, the Buckeyes stop the clock. They will have it first and goal at the four-yard line. Iowa is leading in the game by a score of 20 to 7. Plenty of time, Lindsay. This is not a panic situation for Ohio State, and it's obvious the way they've been moving down the field. Keep everything under control. Take your time. Run some basic pitch, pitch and catches. Move it down. Get a touchdown. They've got to get a TD, though, they, a touchdown. They don't want a field goal, because that does not help them. Got to take it all the way in, which they figured to do from the four-yard line, and keep in mind that on the ensuing kickoff, Iowa would be kicking off into the wind, which might ensure Ohio State of a fairly good field position, certainly more so than if it were reversed the other way around. Exactly. We thought that after it had been something of a struggle back and forth in the first half, we'd get a lot of action in the second half, and what we've had is a lot of action in the second half. We have definitely had that. It has all been, it's been all Iowa. They were really, uh, the coaches spoke to them at halftime. They made a couple of adjustments, stacked up that Ohio State offensive line, and threw the ball very well in the second half. All right, here we go. First and goal. Inside the five-yard line. Jemison motion across. Tom Zach rolling and looking and throwing. And it is a touchdown taken by Broadnax. The big fullback, Broadnax, took it for the touchdown. about the fourth receiver that uh, Tom Zach was looking for in that play. Tom Zach wants to go up top and run the slant up, up the top to hit his wide receiver, but he can't do that. You look at Broadnecks right down here. He sees that Tom Zach's in trouble, gets himself open, and falls into the end zone. Spangler will kick, Tom Zach holding. Spangler's kick is good. So they got the full seven points. 
to make it 20 to 14. And again, the Iowa lead is cut to six points with two minutes, 21 seconds left to play. Look again. Here we go. See him looking downfield. All of a sudden, he spots Brodnex. Brodnex makes a good catch and falls right over number 39, Mike Yaculo. He's just too big of a guy to stop short. When you're 252 pounds, whichever direction you fall in is the way you're going. Or leaning. That's exactly right. <laughs> so now the kickoff. 11 plays, 67 yards, 204. There's Brodnex. Young man from Newark, New Jersey, Barringer High School. Ohio State, of course, will kick it off now with the wind at their back. It'll be Rick Spangler kicking. Iowa does not want to panic right now. There's two minutes and 21 seconds to go in the ball game. They're going to have to get, I would imagine, two or three good first downs. Now, Iowa is protecting against the possible onside kick here with 221 to play. They've got a whole gang of people, and usually you get the ones with the good hands up there to handle a possible onside kick. One safety man back about the 20-yard line, and that is Ronnie Harmon. Now they're moving in position for the onside kick. Bangla boots it. And Iowa's retaining possession. Iowa retains possession at the 48-yard line. The idea is be sure you can get it when you grab it, and they did. And it was Fred Bush. Fred Bush, who got the football, and it's good field position for Iowa. First and 10 outside their own 48. Coming up tonight, Notre Dame versus Miami, 9 Eastern time. I can tell you that Jack Snow and I are going to be right down the road here a little way, sitting in front of the TV set watching CBS presentation of exciting college football. Notre Dame and Miami. Long with the ball. Rolling and looking and keeping at 45, 40, 35, hold, hold from behind by Orlando Lowry. 18-yard pickup on the play. Chuck Long from Wheaton, Illinois. I don't think that he wanted to throw that ball, Lindsay. He ran the rollout. He had everything in his mind. I'm going to keep this ball on the ground because you don't want to put that ball in the air at this time in the ball game. First and 10, Iowa at the Ohio State 32. Each team has two timeouts remaining. Clock is running with 1.56 left to play in this ballgame. Iowa, not having beaten Ohio State over a span of 21 years, leading in the ballgame. On the delay, the draw play, it's Gil Carey. Practically no gain as he is upended. It'll be by second down about 10 yards to go. Coming into the ballgame today, Ohio State was ranked number three. Iowa was ranked number seven. This could be the biggest day in Hayden Fry's football life. Big football game for him and his Iowa football program. Be interesting to see what Coach Earl Bruce from Ohio State does. How quick before he calls the timeout, and they only have two timeouts left. You see the clock running inset at the bottom of your screen. Long, pumps, keeps, stays on the ground to keep that clock running. It is Gale on the tackle at the 30-yard line. And now we get the timeout signal. Ohio State takes the timeout with exactly one minute remaining to be played in this game. Introducing Easy Beta from Sony. Norman Betamax. A simple idea in video cassette recorders. Norman, play. Norman, freeze. Every function is controlled by a single touch. Norman, beta scan. Norman, what's up? So if you thought VCRs were complicated, Sony made them a touch easier. Norman. Easy beta. Simply amazing, because it's amazingly simple. Last year, as part of the industry's most extensive safety-related research and testing program, General Motors totaled 241 beautiful new cars, looking for even better ways to protect GM passengers and drivers. Tonight, Notre Dame and Miami at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, right here on CBS. Exciting college football coming up tonight. 
Exciting college football right here, right now. One minute left to play in the game. Iowa leading Ohio State 20 to 14. Third down and eight yards to go. Iowa at the Ohio State 30 yard line. Long with the ball. Top looks, decides to go long to Harmon, and he's incomplete. He had it in the end zone, in his hands, and could not hold on. Bell was covering Ronnie Harmon, the intended receiver, right there. Ronnie had that ball in his hands. If he could have caught that for the touchdown, what a big play that would have been. I think he should have had that. He was a little upset, Lindsay, two plays ago because he wasn't had the ball wasn't thrown to him by Chuck Long, but he had his opportunity here. He runs an out and go. He's got him beat. He's backpedaling. Yeah, he can make that catch. He can make that catch. Fourth down and eight yards to go at the 30, 53 seconds on the clock. This game isn't over. Long is running it. The option play. He keeps it and goes to the 28 yard line. Orlando Lowry makes the tackle. Clock stops, of course, in college football on the change of possession. Now Ohio State trading by six points. Has the ball, 48 seconds on the clock. It's not over. The Buckeyes have it first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And they trail by only six. Tom Zach is the quarterback. Rodnack saying something to his tailback. Tom Zach pumps, looks, and goes long, way long. And it is incomplete and no call, no flag. Intended for Anderson, Cedric Anderson, covered by Stoops. No call, no flag. Mitchell was doubling up over there as well. Second down and 10 yards to go at the 28-yard line. 40 seconds left to play in the game. Iowa's defensive secondary, they can't afford to get beat deep. Not in a game like this. You don't want any part of that. You get back as far as you have to go. Jameson actually had number nine, Kenny Sims, beat. He's got to uh, get back there. Sims cannot allow anything to happen behind him. Lamzak is 13 for 32, 125 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. They'll be throwing him down there, hoping for a call or a catch. Lamzak. Scrambling. Time is running off the wall. Incomplete. Incomplete. A diving attempt over there at about the 45-yard line by John Frank, the big tight end. And Earl Bruce is incensed. He thought it was a completed pass. Bruce comes partially out onto the field, talking to Tom Zach. He's telling him that Jamison, Jamison was wide open on that last play. Tom Zach sets up. He gets outside the pocket there, give him a little bit more room. He's looking downfield. It's a good lead pass. Let's watch the ball. It's hard to say. It looks good, but it may have skipped in there. It's hard to say. Fisher may have been a little bit out of position to make the call. Third down and 10 yards to go at the 28-yard line. 32 seconds left to play in the game. Iowa leading by six points. Tom Zach overthrew his tight end. It's intercepted at the 45 by Devon Mitchell. Devon Mitchell returns the ball, goes out of bounds at the 33. 22 seconds left, and the crowd is coming onto the field at the north end. They're going to bring down the goalpost. They're going to bring down the goalpost. They think that that interception by Devon Mitchell just about wrapped it up, and I must tell you, I think so too. No question of it. They did what we said they were going to do. They were talking over on the sideline, Tom Zach and Earl Bruce. They came right back to Jemison because he was open to play before. Unfortunately, Tom Zach threw the ball much too high and was picked off. The goalposts have gone down at the north end. Devon Mitchell, who's played an outstanding game and who started here today at free safety from Tilden High in Brooklyn, New York, with the interception first and ten. Iowa at the 33. The officials now are holding up play until the crowd gets off the field. Public address announcer is pleading with the crowd to get off the field. 22 seconds on the clock, which will start on the snap. Ohio State has only one timeout remaining. You can't really blame them, Lindsay. When was it, 1962 here? 1962 is the last time that Iowa beat Ohio State. 16 games over that period, all won by Ohio State, and 10 of them 20 points or more. Hayden Fry has come out onto the field to talk to the officials now. Hayden wants to get this game over. Hayden says, let's play. We're not going to play up there. I'm sure that's his contention. That goalpost is inoperable in any case. Earl Bruce. 
Ramzak, who threw the interception, came into this game as the number one ranked passer in the nation in passing efficiency. But this has been a day for the Iowa Hawkeyes. It came in ranked number seven and will be ranked higher next week, you can bet. Hayden Fry came here from North Texas State and literally turned that program around. This is his fifth year. He's been in bowl games the last two years. He won in the Peach Bowl last December, and then the January previous, he had been in the Rose Bowl, where he did not win. They're going to hit the deck with this formation just to hit the deck. Chuck Long hits the deck, takes the loss. They just want to get time off that clock if they can. Ohio State with one timeout. Clock is running. They're not going to take it. It's 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Look at Hayden Fry. Seven. They're counting it down. The crowd is counting it down. Iowa has won the football game 20 to 14. It's over. Look at him go. The crowd is on the field. The crowd is surging out onto the field all over it. Pandemonium in Iowa City because the Hawkeyes have defeated the Buckeyes. Final score of the ball game, Iowa 20 and Ohio State 14.